Well, guys, today's story is more about new beginnings, but to get to new beginnings, you need to start at the end of something, usually, right? Guys, right now we're standing at well, the main house of our hillbilly farm, and, you know, it's been great up here, don't get me wrong, but we are in the middle of nowhere, and it's time... It might be time to move on. And you know what? I know what you guys are saying. You, you clutch, you didn't you didn't get things done here. You didn't get the ranch built. And I agree with you. I didn't get the ranch built, but we did get the farmlands built. A lot of farmlands. I mean, look at the bales up there. The farmlands in the distance. Me, we made a pretty good farm out of this. And you know what? We're not gonna be able to sell it for a lot, but we will be able to sell this for some money and and it'll help us to move along. Now, why on earth would I want to move along? <laughs> well, for one. This is my living accommodations. There's only so long that I want to live in, in the trailer up on the ridge. Now, I know this might not be for, for everyone. It might be for some of you. I, it's just not for me. I, it's time to, to move on. I mean, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you can see the small town down in the valley, but like everything that we run is up on the ridge, and it's a good half hour to get down there. It's a long ways. No one comes up in this neck of the woods. So trying to get any equipment shipped up here or any well, any building supplies even to build the farm is really just a huge pain. Not to mention, well, the land we have dedicated for while well, building our farm up here is less than ideal. It's a little bit um, small and rough. I mean, we got big fields, but man, this, this terrain, just rough. And then, of course, the equipment. We got breakdowns on equipment. Our cow is there. Our pet's heads are falling off! Don't worry, Bessie's coming with us. I mean, up at the farmlands here, guys, out in the middle of nowhere, it's a little tough even for me to get a date. Well, one that you'd want at least. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So guys, with all that being said, I think it's time we move along. We're selling this property and moving. We're moving someplace a little bit more conducive to, well, some farming that we want to take care of. I mean, we've learned a lot here, but it's time that we, well, enriched our surroundings. What do you figure, Bessie? You, you good with that? I'm going to take that as a yes. Maybe not. So, guys, that will do it for Hillaby Creek. We're heading out to new pastures, literally and figuratively. We've got a new plan. This place is gone. Let's head out. Bessie, load them up. Let's go. Well, guys, welcome to Iowa. It's going to be a little bit of a change from, well... The hillbilly ranch to well the iowa plains um you know what this looks a lot more conducive to the types of farms we want to build let me let me show you around quickly well from what i know i mean we literally just moved in so how much can i really tell you here we'll um we'll just take a quick drive now we've bought we've bought property already we've got a property we've got a, a small farm an old dilapidated farm um in fact there's, there's not really a farm there it's a farmhouse not really a farm. Bessie's happy though. I mean, she's got some some grain line. Uh, he? She? Yeah, I know. Bessie's a bull, isn't it? I mean, who's counting? Uh, there, there may not be much this little town, but I mean, it's a little bit more than we had up at the ranch. At least there's a town here. That's something, right? And we got a John Deere dealership, so that's going to help us get some equipment at least. Speaking of which, we've already bought our first tractor, so that's a good sign, I think, at least. And a main street. Oh, that's, that's nice to see, isn't it? Well, at least we got some places we can come get a coffee or maybe a brown water. Just saying, it's a little bit uh, a little bit more going on here. It's really tough to believe, isn't it? So we'll see where this journey goes. Our farmland are just up ahead. So welcome in if you are just joining us for uh, our new journey here out in the Iowa Plains, guys. Um, well, welcome in new crew. You guys are amazing. Cheers. Thanks for joining us. Um, if you're not already in the uh, subscription box below, make sure you guys go down to the bottom, click subscribe. Join us for uh, our new adventure here on Iowa Plains as we try and figure out how we're going to build this farm. This one looks like it may have some more options. This is it. We're here. This is it, guys. Where's Bessie? Bessie, where are you at? Oh, yeah, there, there you go. Not even not even really hemmed in. You know what? Bessie knows what's best, and uh, she's not going anywhere. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. She's going to stay here. And um, this, is, this is it, guys. This is the farm. Like I said, there's not a lot here. You know what, we'll back the truck in the garage, get it out of the way for now. I don't even think there's enough space for this. I haven't measured this out yet. Can, uh, can we get it all the way in? Can we get it all the way in? That's what she said. <clears throat> no. Nope. Barely, barely made it in. Yeah, it's perfect as long as we don't need to use the door. Um, yeah, it's totally fine, let me close that. Yeah, see? 
totally totally fine perfect size garage all right guys yeah the house we've actually paid to have it furnished for us which is nice um i don't know what year that tv is from anymore but hey we've got a tv got some lights on this joint there we go guys not not the, the worst place in the world they must have brought up donuts off for us here um and a pizza donuts pizza and rice crispy squares hey man i'm not judging that's kind of an odd combination i mean i don't, I don't know about that this is weird <laughs> I mean, but anyways not a lot going on out here yet we're going to build this up and guys this is going to be my plan right now i mean we're going to build this into into some decent farmland and uh we've got a lot of corn we've got a lot of corn fields out here we're going to probably we'll take care of that that is our field you can see right there that's the only field we currently own hopefully we can maybe expand a little bit i mean there's not much money out here right now we're investing a little bit and there um this has been for sale for quite some time so it, there might be room to move out here it might be something we might be able to move on and like for instance that field it hasn't been taken care of in quite some time it looks like now as far as livestock goes well right now bessie's only it there is a, a good sized farm out that way now i'm thinking you know what hog farms i've been told do pretty well out here in iowa so that's something we're going to try and maybe look into pretty early on maybe we could get a, a hog barn built um maybe that's something we could do we got the corn we've already got the corn right that's a pretty big start you know what we need to take care of this field anyways we're not in a rush by any means i got no planting equipment we're gonna need to find a way to make a little bit more money here sooner than later but this is our brand well not brand new new to us 7810 and we do have a disc till right there as well we'll be able to use that to get into this field at least and clean it up but i have no way of planting yet i've got no way to harvest yet and we got our well fifty six thousand bucks from our sale left over guys that's it that's what we're, we've got i know it's not quite a start we're not starting from scratch at least let's go with that start this bad boy up but we do have i mean we had some pretty good luck with a 4955 out in the uh out in hillbilly and i felt like you know what the 7810 is kind of like the next logical progression to get something a little bit newer that's um in pretty good shape as well actually because i'm not gonna lie this is actually a really nice setup the 7810 here this is a good looking tractor you have a weight on the front of this one with a three-point hitch there and uh it's about a what a six and a half meter disc till there let's go and um well let's see if we can make some damage to this field and kind of clean it up i mean it looks like it's in rough shape all right away we go perfect come on let's go all right so first time we're using this tractor um like i said it was the first thing we could find when we pulled into town the dealership had some used stuff that was sitting there and this has been pr kept pretty well uh pretty well maintained this farm itself though i mean there's not much here guys there's no silo we have nothing here so this is something we're gonna have to work on sooner than later we can't mess around this time oh man like look at these stocks just squish a couple of them here what a mess total that's a disaster total loss all right well like I said, this isn't our this isn't wasn't our our doing. This is how the field came. So um, let's get rid of it. Drop the discs out. Come on, let's go, and we'll see how we make do with our new setup here. Hopefully, um, hopefully this works out all right. Get some speed. Drop it down the ground. Oh yeah. Um, well, this is gonna make a mess of this tractor pretty darn quick. You know what? Like I, you guys know this. I always love tilling up withered crops there's something so satisfying about coming through and just knocking everything down just switched up directions uh you know it's doing pretty good actually it's pulling this not too bad i was a little concerned we didn't have enough power but that one hillside on the far side is a little bit of a pain this side seems to be a little slow you can see we've got to climb this this side right here on the right we're right along the highway right here which uh is kind of one of the main on the main uh not interstate but main through fares through uh through the county here yeah it's not great i might have to move bessie a little bit and i'm thinking actually there's a bunch of green space you guys saw oh, i don't know if you can see it she's way back there there's a bunch of green space back there i'm thinking we may just we may, may turn this into the like add addition to the field an addition onto this just a little bit more i mean i don't really need too much more to be a lot of corn as is guys now we need to figure out how we're going to play this how are we going to make profit off this? i mean everyone's doing corn out here of course um but it tends to grow the best oh, especially when clutch doesn't miss a whole bunch let me just get this hang on hang on let me back this up miss the corner there miss the corner as we come around yeah so there's a lot of corn out here of course we can get pretty good yield now they will of course take the corner away at the co-op so i can maybe avoid 
we're in building you know a multi hundred thousand dollar silo right off the bat and just get a truck that uh, we can ship our corn with like that's something we could we could do right off the bat or i could build a pit potentially and chaff the corn right that's something we could also do i i don't know yet maybe um we'll figure have to figure this out in the next couple of days here as we get ready to uh maybe uh replant and figure out these fields of course these fields do need a lot of work i i need to, to really if i want to get a, a good harvest off this and get get this farm off the ground right off the bat we're going to make sure that this field is in as good a shape as possibly can be which means we're gonna have to drop some lime of course also get our fertilization levels up on this uh, put some nutrients back in the soil here so this corn is ready to go i thought maybe maybe going anhydrous might be an, a good option out here as well there's just something about anhydrous that scares me just a little bit in fact to be perfectly honest guys i don't really know my way around anhydrous uh, i mean i'm sure we can go and learn more a little more about that we're gonna have to we'll definitely have to learn more about it but between that of course we'll need a better planter or a, a planter for that matter this is um we got a we got a lot of work ahead of us in the uh, the coming months here wow this is a big field this is a lot bigger than i thought it was um i don't know if they got the specs right land specs show that it's got about 30 acres so i guess that's that's right uh we'll we'll see as we work through this but 30 acres so we're gonna get this finished up speaking of which and uh, i'm gonna go i've got something else i gotta buy today guys like i said we want to work on our our fields and make them look a little bit better get get the lime up to be honest the ph has to be balanced in these fields we'll worry about fertilization later on for now i just need to make sure that we get the lime down we got we got a long time before we need real planting at least so fertilizing if we're going to do anhydrous that's something we can worry about later on it's just yeah i want to get some lime down and get that uh to start neutralizing stuff because uh yeah the field's not quite in the state i wanted it yet all right we finished uh tilling up this whole field now i do have something i'm thinking about doing i thought about taking this spot this whole green area up here and cleaning it all up i thought we might do that but i kind of want to use this as my future build area for the hog farm now if we look over here now this might be some spots like all down the there's a lot of grass just on the sides of the fields i gotta clean that up guys I, I, we're gonna have weeds we're gonna have uh, foliage and everything coming creeping into our field. We might as well take that up. It means more profit for us, right? So let's go and see if we can get uh, clean this up a little bit. I might actually go right down to the ditch over here and see if we can do that instead. See if I can get this all set up and we'll go straight down this way here. Perfect. All right, that should work. Clean it up and yeah, right down towards the ditch here. That's going to be our main entrance right over there, of course, in, into this area. And uh, yeah, I just want to make sure we're not leaving anything to waste out here we got lots of space that is just not being used yet so i figure i might as well clean this up and get rid of these shrubs and everything here as much as i can right all right that'll work through the shrubs perfect all right all the way down let's go i mean i don't want to have to cut any trees down here and knock i don't want any branches hitting the combines when they come by or anything like that i, just, I do have to be a little bit wary of that but man i gotta take up some of this stuff otherwise Otherwise, all this field grass is just going to start creeping back into my field, right? We've got to keep on taking back what we can. Look at all the freaking deer out here. There's like, I think I counted five or six. Man, there's a bunch of them. They were all just right here. Kind of scared them away. All right. I don't want to get too close to uh, our neighbor's field here, but we should be able to just kind of cut up here now and go through these shrubs. Get rid of this little green space in between. It's It doesn't need to be as wide as it is. We can just kind of get rid of these shrubs here. A little bit of green space between and yeah it'll be fine it'll be fine it'll be fine i'm not gonna go crazy but uh i gotta take some of this field back this is this is a lot of extra a lot of extra field here it's being wasted all right guys we have finished off that field's been cleaned up like i said now it's time i did a little bit of field work uh i needed something to throw some lime and we found a freight liner on the used market over here it's just getting the service dealership right now getting fixed up ready to go for us but yeah an old international it's got a big uh spreader box in the back of course cost us about just under 20,000 bones for this bad boy you know it, it it feels like a little bit of overkill i kind of would have been fine with a trailer to be perfectly honest but you know what you can't really complain when you get one of these I, I don't have any other purpose for this i can't take this box off really i mean that'd be a big job if we wanted to make this you know dual purpose of some sort well, that wouldn't be bad would it but uh unfortunately yeah it is what it is so we'll use this to spread the lime of course and i mean we got big fields out here out here in iowa so it'll be fine for that use at least 
But, uh, yeah, it's pretty decent shape, a few hours on it, but uh, it's been driven a few miles, that's for sure. The nice thing about this, guys, in fact, we're going to get some lime right now, is that it's a bit of a trek back and forth to town here. And since I don't have any storage for lime, or fertilizer, or seed for that matter, um, I'm going to need to come here anyways. Oh, my gauges aren't working. Heh. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, we're going to have to be back and forth to town to pick up lime now. At least the lime's not too far away from the farm. Like, it's just out here on the outskirts. Um, we do have a, a bulk sale right here, which we'll, we'll use that <laughs> good a bit, to be honest, in the next little bit. So we're going to drive in here. We're going to pick up some lime right away here, and then uh, we'll head, start heading back out towards the farm. All right, just paid up for our lime. A couple grand worth of lime. Let's, let's head out. Let's get over to that field and see if we can get that field looking like she's in pristine condition. As this truck is feeling like it's a little under, underpowered. I mean, I don't know what size tires are on the back of this thing, but they're they're a little they're a little big. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a little on the, on the underpowered side for sure compared to uh, anything else we're used to. All right, Chris, straight across, over to the county. Let's go. Oh man, I can't wait to get this farm built. Look at like just it's just so wide open up here. I'm really excited to to really get into this. We're gonna need to do some contracts though in the next little bit. We've got quite a while before we're gonna making any money on these fields. So there we go. Start dropping our lamp. It's gonna take us a bit, guys, to say the least, to uh, to get into these fields and make some money. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to, we're probably gonna have to take out some money at some point in time in order to pay for this stuff. But uh, we'll see where we get from there. So let me let me throw my lime out here. It's a little bit of a rough in the field. Let me throw this lime out. or probably have to go buy another one more load. I'm assuming, and we'll go from there. Oh boy, guys, this truck's actually pretty good. You know what? This is. It was a good buy. I mean, it's a little bit on the rough side of the field, but the truck seems to like it. Hey, look at this thing just bouncing around out here. Um, yeah, this was this will be good. We can use this for all sorts of fields out here. I like this. This was this might have been the smartest buy I've done in a long time. All right, last little bit here just to finish off. It did it took us three uh, three loads? Unfortunately, I was hoping for two, but uh, yeah, it's a big field. Like I said, it's almost well over thirty acres. So. That's going to do it for the lime. Lime's been tossed down. Uh, I don't really need to do anything else, guys. It's going to be... I'm going to do some contract work. Maybe um, go see if we can help with some of the farmers for the time being. I do want to build a shed. There we go. I do want to build some kind of a shed on the property to start storing some of our equipment in. Um, and maybe get some... Just some small equipment, like a pressure washer or something to clean some of this stuff up. Holy. But I mean, really, from here, we need to just prep for... Well, planting season come the spring. So not much to, uh, to talk about. Unfortunately, it's going to be um, a hurry up and wait pr process now while we wait for uh, well, seasons to churn. So let me um, see if I can make a little bit of money over the winter here and get ready for the new year with, well, hopefully a new planting season on this big cornfield. All right, guys. Oh, man. We'll see you guys next year. Hey, welcome. Welcome back, guys. Um, we're just coming up into planting season. What is going on with my trailer? Huh? It we kind of overloaded. We put a couple bags of seed back there. We got some fertilizer in the back of the truck. I was not expecting that to be a problem, but um, that old trailer's have. I mean, it's pretty old, but it's, it was jumping all over the place back there. It, whatever. Anyways, we've got some. We got some stuff, guys. We're ready to plant. I've got. A, I've got a brand new planter, and well, I've got some seed and fertilizer. Let's go show it to you. Oh, actually, I've got more than that. I totally forgot. I've been. I've been busy working here. Uh, we did some money-making contracts over the winter and uh, managed to make enough so I could build myself a workshop, at least, to get started here, guys. we got a workshop up by the house now as well. Yeah, look, things are kind of coming together. Uh, stay there. We've got the John, new John Deere planter. Well, new to us again, once again, on the used market. It's the 1113, so it's a 13-row 13-row John Deere uh, planter. So that should work. We've got some uh, fertilizer boxes up on top as well. And uh, it is a direct drill, of course, as well, which might make my life a little bit easier, potentially. Might save myself a little bit of time with that. So that's perfect. So we've got that, of course, that should be... I'm, I'm thinking we can use, of course, a, a better work. <laughs> we, we better be able to tow it with a 7810, or I'm going to be in some serious trouble, because Clutch ain't got no backup plan. But perhaps we should have a backup plan. Scott, hello? So we've been sitting here just actually working and making sure everything works on it. Um, I have not tried planting with it. We have not done any actual field work with this yet. So you're coming along with me for the ride. And hopefully this all works out as as kind of we planned. Um, like I said, we had not tested this at all yet. We've only got one field, so it can't be that bad. It does feel awfully big behind the 7810, though. 
Like this is a substantial planter. Feels big. It feels big. Let's see how the John Deere does out there, shall we? Uh, let's not hit our truck. And of course, I didn't really show the new shed too much to you, but it's a workshop, of course. We've got a pressure washer. We've got some workshop areas in the back. We can repair things back there. It's, it's just a very straightforward workshop, at least. Gives us something to cover our equipment in the winter as well. And in the rainy season, uh, the not new season, I guess. I still got to build a silo at some point. We'll get through the the harvest here. We'll see how we do with corn. But uh, yeah, we've got we've got a lot of work ahead of us, you guys. So let's see how our brand new John Deere planter works, shall we? All right, let's fire it up. Everything's engaged. Pressure's all up. All right, let's uh, just take her nice and easy, and we'll drop it. Uh, drop the planting head down right as we enter the field here. Oh, that's a good sign. Like that. I like that a lot. All right. Let's see if I can hold about seven. No, 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 no. Slower down, slower down, slower down. Stay at about seven for now. And we'll make sure that handles that, all right? Uh, yeah, that's that's doing all right. Interesting. All right. I'm I'm surprised that we can actually pull it as well as we are to be here, you guys. I, I didn't think that that was going to pull it that well. Hey, you know what? I'm not not complaining. That's great. Yeah, it's, uh, it's doing what it needs to do. I was... A little concerned we wouldn't be able to pull it, <laughs> but uh, it is a little bit more substantial. Like I said, I, I thought maybe I might have to find a way to put bigger tires or some duels on that 7810, but uh, you know what? It seems to be able to handle it. It's going to be a lot of corn out here. Yeah, it's going to be a lot. We'll do uh, some headlines and we'll get through this field, but it's going to take us uh, probably about an hour and a half or so, and uh, we'll get through this, this 30 acre field, 30, 30 and a half acre field now, I guess. And uh, yeah, should be good. We'll have our pl corn planted already. First thing in the season. That's awesome. Okay, I could push nine miles an hour out of this, even on the uh, the end rows here. So we need to talk a little bit about what we're gonna go, what we're gonna do going forward here. I think like our hog farm. This is where we're, we want to push into the hogs here, and I'm thinking we could probably start something right off the bat, right out of the chute. We'll get something kind of small, a little, a little, little hog farm. Right? I don't know. If we, I don't want to put it right close to my hog farm house, though, do I? Yeah, see, we need to put maybe something back here if I had more space. I don't have the space, so I think I'm going to have to put it beside the, the farmhouse. Um, not much we can do about that. So, maybe we'll look into doing that very, very soon and uh, getting a few hogs started at least and seeing if that can help supplement our income. Maybe we'll, I mean, we're going to have to buy feed most likely. That's just the way that's going to have to work for the time being. There's no way I can make any kind of substantial pig food anytime quickly right now, so... I think we're going to have to worry about that later on. We'll just get them started, you know, and then we can kind of start working through them. You know, we have a half dozen hogs, maybe. Then uh, we can work our way through and figure out exactly how much feed we need and go from there. Because, that, you know what, you want to start off small and not go right the 500 head right off the bat. 500 hogs, then all of a sudden you realize, man, you know what, I can't afford or keep the food going for these guys, right? So that's going to be the plan going forward. Things have been, well, moving along slowly guys look at our corn our corn is is doing really well actually we're almost we're almost at the time where we're ready to harvest this but that also means i had to buy a bunch of equipment so let me show you this equipment we've had to buy before we get into harvesting this do you take visa of course we needed some kind of a truck to transport all our product this actually worked out all right this was once again on the used market so we got a bit of a discount i mean all in all we're what a little over sixty thousand bucks i think for the whole setup not bad. I think it's actually probably one. Oh, no, it wasn't our most expensive thing. Who am I kidding? Yeah, our most expensive purchases. Well, right there. That, that's definitely our most expensive purchase, guys. That sprayer. It's a Massey Ferguson sprayer. It was used as well, but still we're looking at 145, 150,000. I think it was something like along those, along those lines. That then cost us an arm and a leg. I didn't want to go with a pull behind sprayer behind the tractor because I didn't feel like changing tires all the time. Keep it simple. We went with the Massey sprayer. It's been good for us so far. We'll see how many hours we end up getting on it, but um, for the field size, we're out getting out here in Iowa. Definitely a good purchase. Oh man, a trailer dumped our load everywhere here. Whoops. And of course, you guys know the truck. We've got the uh, the Freightliner back there with the massive chonky tires. And then of course our cedar, uh, our planter, I should say. All that is status quo. But of course, there's one more thing since I said we're, we're talking about harvesting here. And well, you guys already kind of saw this, but um, yeah, we got a harvester, kind of. Um, yeah, it's it's a harvester, all right. A pull behind John Deere 7721 with a six row uh, corn header on the front of it here. We'll see how we make do, guys. The 7810's got to pull this. 
Yeah, it was relatively cheap at least, so that's on the good side. I mean, I probably wouldn't have picked it up if it wasn't that it was such a good deal on the used market. I would like to get a proper combine at some point, but this is going to work for us for now. I mean, you got to start somewhere. I think I spent I spent way too much money on the sprayer to be perfectly honest. So this is what we're stuck with. I wasted I I went and took a loan out. I didn't want to take out any more money, guys. Is what it comes down to. So unfortunately, I couldn't afford to put storage up on the farm yet. We want to build a silo of some sort. I've got some other plans on things we'll talk about later, but for now, this corn harvest is coming at us and it's going to be a good chance for us to make a little bit of money back hopefully and we can kind of progress into that and hopefully maybe build this farm up a little bit. We'll see what we get for the corn. We gotta wait another couple days and um, it'll be harvest season. I'll see you guys on the flip side, all right? Oh boy, sun is shining today. Hopefully it stays like this, but the corn, look at that guys, corn is uh, looking good. So I'm gonna move the truck over. We'll get it prepped in the yard here for harvest time here. Uh, we'll get the combine hooked up to the 7810 and uh, we'll get into this field and see, uh, see what we get out of this guys. Like I said, we're gonna have to do a lot of driving back and forth today is uh we have nowhere to store it so we've got to sell off the corn right away oh boy it is fall out here in iowa for sure fire this bad boy on up all right let's go up and around we'll pull over to the yard here and uh see how we make do yeah we've got enough space here i think to build a decent yard at least i got plans for other stuff later on but uh for right now this should work out for our yard not a fan that it's on a bit of a hillside i prefer if it was flat but you know what it is what it is and it doesn't take up too much more of our uh, our corn area our corn field right i wonder how this truck will handle out in the field it should be okay i think uh yeah it should be fine the guy said it was good enough so hopefully we can just kind of get through the field without too many problems it looks like we got good weather today everything should stay dry i'm sure if it was a little bit moist out there that'd be a bit of a problem but it's been dry for a bit so the corn should be good as well I'm towing the trailer, yeah, it's a little bit extra weight, but um, it's got three axles, so it should be should be fine, I think. Anyways, let's get 7810 out of the out of the shop and let's hook up to our our whole pull behind combine here. All right, fire this bad boy on up. All right, perfect. All right, let's go pull on out. Let her warm up outside, and uh, we'll hook up to the combine, make sure everything's running, and then we'll get into this field right away. Like I said, this is going to take us probably the better part of today. It is a fairly good sized field. We're uh, about 40 acres ish. By the time we've cut into everything now, so it will take us a few minutes to get through it, just to say the least. It's the only thing we got to do this fall, though. Perfect. All right. Um, like I said, six rows. Yeah, six six row corn header on this, the 64, 643. Uh, it's a little bit heavy even for this tractor, to be perfectly honest. I'm hoping it does okay, but uh, this is going to be the first test for this guy. And I think originally this was planned to be only like a four row. Um, we managed to get this modified to hold a six row header just... You know what? That's how it sold to me. Don't ask me, guys. It seems to work as far as I can tell. So um, what can I say, right? Anyways, let's pull up to the field here. Everything's the truck's already warming up over there. Tractor should be warm enough by now already. Let's uh, start knocking out some corn. All right, fire it up. Combine is running. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, let's just drop that head down. Nice and easy. All right, let's see if we can, uh, well, I guess we're doing all end rows, aren't we? I guess we're going all the ways around the edge. So unfortunately, this field is not square, so that's going to make things a little bit more challenging for us. But what do you do? All right, in we go. Oh, boy. All right, I think we could get it a little bit tighter than that. A little bit tighter. Oh, yeah, see, we can get right up close to this corn. If you get right in close there, there we go. Now we're getting all six rows. Perfect. There we go. And actually, it's, it's pulling it pretty well, actually, guys. I'm surprised the, um, the 48, 7810, sorry, is doing a decent job on this. I was worried I wasn't going to have the horsepower to do both uh, to pull this. I mean, this tractor has been pretty beat up over the years. It's got a few hours on it, as you can see. But uh, yeah, it seems to be doing all right here. Just got to keep nice and close in with the new ones make sure we get all six rows it's a little bit tough to tell no gps or anything running on this we're doing this all by hand so we're gonna have to be like real close into the corn here trying not to hit anything of course knock down any of the rows and uh just go around this field big field to go around it's gonna take us a hot minute here guys we're sitting here on the half full a little over half full coming around the corner at the far end of the field here guys yeah i was hoping we could get like a head one headland done it's not even gonna be close but uh you know what there's for a wishing i guess anyways i kind of regret how close we've got to um well some of the um the trees in here now you guys remember we, we cut this field back quite a bit 
I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, we want to be close because of, uh, make sure we take this field up. Well, now I've got to deal with it because I've got a tractor that's going to be basically on the edge the whole time. Not the smartest move on my part, I guess, but hey, I, the more you know, um, I didn't plan for this. Did not plan for this. Oh, great. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. I've already ran into my first prop. You know what? Let's, um, let's knock this down. We brought the chainsaw with us. We'll see if we can just kind of get rid of some of the branches here. And, uh, there we go. Come on. Get out of here. Perfect. Now we should be able to get by, hopefully. I don't have to do that too much. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Just kind of just putter through nice and slow. Nice and slow. Hopefully we can sneak by this tree. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Mirror's catching on it still. All right, fine. You know what? We'll, we'll take out some more. That's okay. We can get rid of some more branches. We don't need this. I could probably just get rid of this whole tree. Couldn't... Ah, I don't want to do that. I'm going to try and leave it if I can. You know what? We don't want to knock down all the trees around our, our fields here, do we? Just get rid of the branches. Come on. There we go. And uh, grab you. Move you out of here. There we go. Now, no, no, no. We can get by. Look at that. It's perfect. All right, let's go. Sneaking on past. There we go. See? Uh, I'm only going to do that like three or four more times now, I bet. Oh, well. And it looks like I'm pretty much full back there. Um, I'm gonna, Yeah, I'm full. I'm full. I'm full. Let's back this up. Looks like uh, we're going to have to go and take this back right now, guys. I don't want to go get the truck. We'll worry about bringing the truck up later, and since I'm out here on my own, uh, let's let's just do that. We'll we'll figure this out. Oh yeah, it's filled. I can't I can't unfold it yet. We'll drag it back, and then once we um, once we get a little more space, then I'll make it. It'll be easier for us to uh, to grab the truck out here. For now, we're not doing it. We'll have to we'll have to drag it back and forth for now. Unfortunately, kind of sucks. But what do you do? All right, guys. First, unload into the truck. I left it running here. I don't know if I should have left. No, but whatever. We'll see if we can get some help later on. But. Uh, I don't know if I should have left it running or not. Just wasting fuel. It's all good. We'll we'll find a way to make her work, I guess. Let's see if this pipe's gonna work for me here. Where is it? There it goes, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Um a little bit awkward to maneuver the pipe out. I'm trying to see how we're gonna run this. Yeah, it should be fine once we get her up and running. It's just trying to get it in the right position is a bit awkward to kind of back it in. It's a little bit uh the pipe's long enough. I was worried it wasn't gonna be long enough, but it seems like it's a decent length. We've got, what, 6,000 farming units, 6,500 6, farming units there. That's all right. That's a, a decent start, I guess, for uh, for that. I don't know how much this truck holds in generally, but uh, once we that in the trailer, we'll, we're full, and we'll see how far we get. I'll have to see if we can hire somebody to drive this thing around, I guess. That's uh, going to be the thing we're going to have to do at some point. We still have to get down the far side, though. We're that far away. Oh, more trees got to come down. Oh, more, man, this is the third tree I've had to, to prune. Come on, where is, uh, let's gonna get this chainsaw to work properly, it'll be great. I know it's in here somewhere. Come on, you know you, you know you want to grab, just, just grab, just grab, just grab that. There we go, thanks. That's what I needed, right there. Get rid of that branch. Perfect. That's, um, wow, that was loud. What the heck was that? Did I hit the tractor? <laughs> Alright guys, so we've got our, looks like a last loud load, loud? Last loud, <laughs> before we go and unload. Last loud before we go. Anyways, I got Gertie out working for us as well now, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a bit, guys. We're, we've got a full truck. It's just taken a hot minute here to get a full truck load, that's for sure. And uh, trying to get the trailer full with this setup. Uh, to say it's a pain in the keister would be uh, not even close to being right. Um, pretty much forget about trying to unload on the go here. It is kind of set it up and uh, hope for the best. There we go. And, uh, yeah, it, I mean, it, it does its job, but it's, um, like I said, it's just not the best system in the world for loading quickly. So, it, it, it's working. We're getting a decent yield off this, this field. But, uh, guys, we're going to need to, we're going to need to step her up a little bit here, I think. Anyways, I'm going to go sell this off as soon as this is on. It takes forever to unload. This thing is just, the auger is the slowest auger I think I've seen in, well, almost forever. Anyways. We'll have to... Let's go unload. All right, Gertie. We'll catch you in um, a little bit. Yeah, it's working. Not... I mean, this is what you expect, guys. I don't know what you expected, but this is kind of what I expected with that pull behind combine. I knew it was going to be a lot of work. It's all good, though. Oh, boy. Let's uh, head over to the grain mill. Sell off all the corn. I don't... I guess they're taking corn to the grain mill now. All right. That works. It's the best price now. Unfortunately... This is the lowest possible price. Oh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. The po lowest possible price um, right now. Of course, it's harvest season, so yeah, I mean, it only goes up from here, but I don't have any money to build a storage silo of sorts. I mean, I could just dump it like, on the ground, I guess, inside my shed. 
but I'm gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of corn by the time we get through this field so that's not really gonna work is it no it's not yeah sure I could double up the car we'll see what we get and then you know what we don't we'll know for next year what we can expect I guess right for now we're um we're stuck with what we get guys I can't afford to buy anything I mean I got 80 grand right now all of which is owed to the bank I'm really hoping I could at least pay off my loan maybe a little bit more than that I don't know um, Gertie should be just right here, guys. This is the field right here. There she is. Yeah, she's working her way through it. Nice. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Of course, as we're uh, trucking through the county here, quick shout out to all the newest or latest subscribers. Hey, cheers to you guys. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new around here. And of course, I mean, if you're not, make sure you guys slap the like because every like helps um, the crops grow a little bit better and it also slaps a certain bot. Anyways, just slap the like on your way down here as well, guys. I swear, I can just like taste the dust right now. It just seems like so sunburnt and dusty out here to me. I don't know what it is. It's <laughs> welcome, well, welcome in, uh, welcome to Iowa, I guess, right? Especially out here in the harvest season. Yeah, it just everything. The sun has got an interesting glow to everything right now. Everything like, look at the road. It just looks so bright. It's uh, yeah, it's burning my retinas. All right, big money, big money, big money. Hopefully, um, really hoping some decent money here. Please, 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 please. We need some good cash because uh. I need. I got some. I got some bills to pay. Wish they made the uh, the drop pan just a little bit bigger. I could get both the truck and trailer on there. But not quite big enough. Not quite. All right. So it was roughly fifteen thousand, sixteen thousand bucks per the the front. Be about the same to the back, of course. That ain't bad considering we're getting about half of what we normally would. So we're gonna get thirty thousand bucks off this. Thirty-two thousand, thirty-three thousand ish to be exact. Guys, that's. That ain't bad. You know what? If we could double that, it'll be like sixty-five to seventy thousand dollars per load. Yeah, that's actually not bad at all. Hmm. Perfect. Okay. Let's head back on out. Head back to the farm and finish off this harvest. Well, we got lots of harvesting still to do, but just doing the math, the quick math in my head here, and uh, it looks like like we should be able to build something for sure for next harvest at least. All right. I think Gertie's almost full already, or she's probably already full. Let's see if we can find her. We'll uh, we'll go in the back way right here, down this dirt road. And kind of get into the back side of this field. We should be able to get over to her. Yeah, there's the field right there. And uh, she should be just down here somewhere. She can't be too far down this side. I mean, we saw her when we were driving down the road up on the top right there. So she's got to be down in here somewhere. Let's see. Can you see anything? She's got to be down. It looks like she's made this pass already. I'm not seeing her anywhere down here, though. Ah, uh, there she is. Perfect. All right. Let's unload this and uh, keep this harvest rolling. Like I said, guys, 30 grand and we've only made like two passes so far it's gonna yeah we're gonna definitely be able to build what i want to build here we're gonna get a silo system going by next year for sure perfect about halfway through the field so far oh here comes gertie right now getting there we're getting there hey yeah, guys the uh the pobo hunt combine i'm actually doing a pretty decent job for the most part to be honest with you i'm, I'm actually pleasantly surprised a little bit slow but man you know what not bad not bad at all yeah so like i said we're about halfway done halfway done the field I've had a chance to, to crunch some numbers as well. Here, you know what? Let's uh, pull up a side Gertie here. She's about to be full, looks like. You know, we've had to, we've had to wait till she's completely full. I can't, we can't fill on the go, especially the back trailer. There's just not enough room to get up beside her and the pipe won't reach. It's all sorts of, so all sorts of calamities. So uh, she'll fill it right up and she'll stop. She's got the beacons all let us know she's ready to go almost right now. But uh, this will probably be the last uh, little bit I can fit into our, into our back trailer there. Front trailer's full. But uh, yeah, so far we've made, oh boy, is it around uh, 70,000, maybe 60,000, something like that. It, it, we've made a decent amount of money so far. But now I'm considering deductions on top of that. So that's a whole other ball of wax. Of course, uh, planting, fertilizing, and liming. And then of course, um, well, we gotta pay Gertie something as well because she don't work for free. What kind of girl do you take me for? There she goes, finally came to a stop. Let's see if I can just angle this in here and uh get her to pull the pipe out for me here come on gertie oh don't oh don't do that just kind of sneak past the back tire it's a good thing this old truck's got that big bumper on the front of it there get kind of in the in the right spot we got to kind of back it in almost half the time just to get her to to want to be in the right spot that's all just get her nice and snugged in there and then kind of crank it into place and uh it should be fine right about there ish kind of and then maybe pull it back a little bit there right there should be good Perfect. Cool, cool, cool. So this will be the last bit. Now let's take a quick look, guys. Like I said, Gertie's been doing pretty good. We've been getting a decent harvest off this. A little over halfway done, I think. But if we go in and take a quick look at kind of what we've made so far. Well, so far our total cost were 54000 That includes, of course, our labor. But we've made 119 so far of profit off this field. 
So we're sitting at about 100, about 65,000 bucks is what we've made so far off this field. We're going to be making about 120. And then once again, guys, we're still, like, this is half of what this field's really going to go for by the time we get, if we get a silo build, we'll be able to double up on that. So it's like really 200s, if we double that up, we're looking at like $300,000 off this field, potentially just off of, just for the corn. Not bad. Now, I haven't even talked about make what we want to do. I mean, originally, we still want to build a pigsty of some sort. Uh, get some hogs going on out here. But I think that may have to wait just a little bit, at least a couple of years, until we kind of get everything off the ground here. I don't know. Maybe we could part the pigsty first, but we'll see. It just feels like we need to get some better equipment going on. Don't get me wrong. That pull-behind combine's doing a job. We've got, we've got a decent truck right now. I'm happy with this truck. We've got a really good sprayer. I do need another tractor, though, of course, to start doing... Well, multiple tasks at once, especially if we get some more fields. Yeah, uh, yeah. But we'll see if we get to that point. I'm thinking for now, like just what we've got is decent. I just gotta pay back our loan uh, sooner than later, which is, might be off this harvest. Maybe we'll pay off half of it this harvest. We'll hold on to half for the time being. We do need to build a silo, of course, so we can uh, actually make some decent money off of our harvest rather than just kind of paying to survive right now it feels like you get paid when i get paid all right guys on our last couple passes here this has been one heck of a day so far um gertie had to go take a break as well so uh i, I think i'll just finish this off trucks almost full right now as is and uh we're down to the nitty gritty here on this cornfield yeah, we've made a decent amount of money off the sales already. I've been welcome to check the bank account, watch it go up. I mean, we're looking at about 150000 um, bucks. And like I said, this is low season right now for for sales. So, you know, we could probably make 300000 I think, if we were to sell at the prime time, which next year, once we build the silo right away here, that will allow us to do it. So it's it's kind of nice that uh, we can do that. Yeah, so next year, this, this is going to be a much better harvest, of course. It's just... It, it worked pretty good for now. To be honest, one field. I would like to get more fields, of course, but it, they're expensive out here. It's still in the county. Uh, like Iowa, it's still expensive out here, guys. It's going to take us a little bit before we can afford to buy more property. I do want to get there. It's just going to take us a little bit. That's all. I can almost see through the corn. It's going to be like our last little bit here. It might be second, last pass. We'll see. I should be able to fit it all maybe in this one. This one hopper should be enough, guys. Um... Uh, feels good to be almost done this. I'm not going to lie. This was a lot. A decent sized harvest for this combine, for sure. It uh, worked out fairly well. I was actually pretty impressed with this little combine. I mean, of course, I would love to get something a bit bigger sooner than later. We'll have to watch the used market for that and see what comes up comes up for us. But for now, let's finish off this, this harvest with this old thing. And uh, we'll go on from there. Looks like we're going to need a little bit more than one more pass, but we're looking pretty darn good. All right, that's the end. That is the last bit of corn we have left to harvest. She's all done. Um, let's just unload this into uh, the truck here, and uh, we'll see if we can take this and sell the rest of it off, make a little bit extra cash off this here. Let me get this right into position. There we go. And, uh, guys, I'm going to build a silo system, I think, right away here. I think I'm going to try and build the silo system. And then I know exactly, well, how much money I've got to play with here. I mean, let's go take a quick look. We've made 154000 bucks off this. Okay, we know that. That being said, the soil samples, not going to need to take those. So that's another thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000 that I'm not going to need to sp spend next year, which is kind of nice. So 150000 at least. If I spend, you know, if I can get something for, you know, $50,000 uh, for a silo, maybe an auger to go with it. Well, maybe we'll do that. That might be something we'll go. Let's take a quick look and see if we can start worrying about building this up. Let's see if we can wrap this thing up first of all. There we go. And uh, put this all away. And then I'm going to start seeing what our options are for building. All right. Let's head back to the farm. All right. Oh, man. I still need to clean everything up around here. But we've been busy building. So, well, you can see what we built so far. It, relatively inexpensive $60,000 Brock bin, of course. Yeah, fairly straightforward. We got a, the Brock bin that holds roughly... 450,000 farm units, I believe, of corn we could put into this guy. And uh, the nice thing about this one, it does have a pipe right on it, so I don't need to worry about an auger for offloading. However, to load it, we did need to buy a, um, an auger, and we just wanted to keep this simple. Like I said, I've only got the one tractor, so I wanted to make sure we had something that... Well, the conveyor has got a motor to drive the auger on this uh, on this pipe as well, so wanted to make sure we had that. Didn't want to have to worry about getting another tractor. This did cost us a little bit extra because of that, of course. 
but and it was unfortunately not used i wish i could have bought that used but no luck had to buy a brand spanking new so between those two things paying off our debts guys we have a hundred thousand and well 119 grand left in the account to make it through the year now i'm gonna get ready to do some liming out here we've got uh the freight liner we just gotta get out there shouldn't take too much lime and then we can get planting come the spring again all right guys winter's over and it's planting season and i've got a problem to fix let's go um roll out a field i've got some stuff to talk about guys so it's time we well to start working on our fields a little bit here but like i said i've got everything planted uh we're just working on well field productivity a bit more making sure we can maximize these fields and i did buy something a little extra we bought a roller a field roller so guys this thing cost me thirty thousand twenty nine thousand bucks for this volmer uh it's it's not bad it's not the biggest roller in the world by any means but it is towable with the uh the 7810 like we only have 174 five horsepower with this bad boy so i don't have really the power to take anything that's absolutely massive obviously and really i'm only getting a couple extra percentage of yield off this so let's not spend too much money ruling our fields right so let's just get in here let's just knock everything down and see how we make do now one of the things guys of course you guys know i've been working on well diversifying i guess would be a good word maybe diversifying our our crops might be a, a decent word for that and uh we've had let's just go with mixed success yeah maybe not so much you failed me i mean guys iowa is kind of known for its corn right i mean there's definitely a few cornfields around here and well we're no exception we've been working the cornfield here and then, like i said this is our only field so what we get off this has to last us the year so far that's been fine i mean realistically we're making you know a couple hundred thousand dollars off of this field per year well, trying to diversify into, uh, well, the popcorn industry has proven to be a, a bit of a challenge. I mean, it's not that we're not making money at it, but let's just say that we're making a little less than we kind of had hoped or expected for that matter. So we need to find a way to, well, maybe come up with something that's uh, going to work a little better in our favor, I think. You know, like I said, I've got, we got a decent income coming in. But I think we could find a way to do a little bit better than that. Let me finish rolling this field. Let me finish rolling this all this out. It's a little bit longer. We've got a couple more passes still to make here. And um, we'll talk about it. All right. See you guys in a bit. Oh, boy. All right. Well, welcome back in. It's, uh, well, we've been a month since we last talked, to be honest. The crop's already starting to come up. I do have some field work to do today. But I promised you guys I would talk a little bit more and show you a little bit more about well where things maybe have gone wrong and what i plan to do to fix them so well uh, come with me jump on in we're gonna make a quick trip into town and yeah i'll show you <laughs> everything that didn't work out the way we expected it to well it's only one thing so it shouldn't take that long <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> This is, well, the K-Sibs popcorn factory that we thought we'd try to run. We were making decent money, like I said, off of our corn, guys. Like, corn was doing well. In fact, we're making, you know, upwards of, you know, $1,500 per thousand farming units. But, hey, I thought, why not try to wreck that by making popcorn? Oh, yeah, popcorn, it's going for a pretty penny already. Uh, the whole $300 per thousand. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Why, why do I base my time? I think the packaging is worth more than the actual popcorn is, guys. This is absolutely ridiculous. And my day is completely ruined because of this stuff. So rather than abandoning all hope and, you know, starting from scratch, hey, you know what I decided to do? I'm, I'm going to double down. Guys, we're going to double down. That's right. Instead of just making, you know, regular old popcorn, well, we're going to go with the buttered popcorn. We're going to make buttered popcorn instead of regular popcorn and put it in a nondescript box. We're saving money on the packaging and making a higher end product. It makes perfect sense. I mean, guys, just look at the, look at the price difference. We could make up to 4,400 4, bucks per thousand 
on buttered popcorn. So that seems like a no brainer to me, doesn't it? Okay, I know I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself because there's, well, there's one thing we're not making yet to, to make, well, what we have behind us, of course, and that's, that's the butter part. That's right, the butter part. There's the popcorn and the butter. Well, we can make the popcorn. We can't make the butter. So for our first batch here, I did have to go ahead and buy butter, which I'd rather not do, to be perfectly honest. So that is our goal today, guys. We need to find a way to be able to start making butter. I need to I need to find a way to do that. I don't think we're gonna need as much as you might think, but we're still gonna definitely need more than enough. Does that make sense? That was great English clutch. Anyways, we need more than enough butter. How do we do that? Well, we gotta we gotta expand our farm a bit, I think. So guys, the goal for today, of course, is to be able to get through this year and by the end of it, being able to start making some butter. We need to find a way to start manufacturing that stuff. Of course, I can, I can of course buy butter, but I need to buy the dairy, guys. We need to be able to purchase the dairy. I mean, we can make more things with the dairy, of course. That is going to be our goal. We need to, we need to get to a point where we can buy that and start utilizing it. <laughs> the liquid herbicide. The whole reason we're actually making this trip out here today, to be honest with you, I, I'm, I know I said I wanted to just show you something, but guys. You're not the only reason I had to come out here. I needed to get some liquid herbicide too. And we very mel well may have to. So that's going to be our goal. Can we make, can we make, the, well, let's see here. We're going to need cattle, of course. Can we make the, a cattle barn and get some cows out here and uh, start turning profits with milk and butter by the end of the year? It's going to be touch and go. We'll see what we can do. Of course, I can't forget about taking care of our fields while I'm trying to do this. So let's just get this out of the way first. Quickly fill her on up. Stop that there. All right, looks good. Let's get out there. Of course, guys, I still do have one other concern, and that has to do with that Brock bin behind me. Am I going to need to build a second one of those? Like I said, we ran out of space last year on the bin. Uh, our yield's going to be higher this year, most likely. So that's something I'm going to need to consider. So 30000 to 50000 bucks probably for a new bin. I don't need the auger, of course, but something I'm definitely going to need to consider. Anyways, let me pull this on. Let's get out here. Let's spray these fields down. I'll see you guys... Um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. You know what? We'll start building once we get this done and figure out how we're going to get some cows out here. And uh, I got to find a way to make... I got to find a way to make butter, guys. That's the goal. Make it butter. All right, guys. We've bought the land. Everything's been purchased. Let me just fill up the uh, the 7810 here. Fill this bad boy on up. Um, yeah, we need to get some fuel. I need to make sure I've got... Well, everything I'm going to need for the foreseeable future um, paid for. Is that 80 grand you see right now that I have, guys? We're gonna spend it all on equipment right now. It's it's still gonna be touch and go. You know what? Let me take you up to the farm. I do need to put a fuel uh, a fuel surplus station or a fuel fuel tank at the farm. Actually, one of these days too. I really need to do that. Driving all the way up here to get fuel is a bit of a pain. Okay, right, so that's our farm right back over um over there behind us. And well, the cattle farm we picked up was just well one county road over to be honest. Just past this field over here, past this section. In a way, it's actually quite nice because it is still fairly close. You know what? It's, it's part of, an, of a larger farm or was a larger farm at one point in time. You can see down the far end there. We don't own any of that. We just own, well, the cattle barn right there. And then there's a field that's right up on top here. Let me show you a little around a little bit quickly. So we got a hay field just beside the farm and then, well, the, the cattle barn itself. You know what? I'll pull into the branch. The, the big white farm, farm building ahead of us here, guys. That's a pigsty. That is not ours. Um, as much as I would like it to be ours, it looks like a nice... It's a fairly new pig operation. Uh, a lot of hogs can go into there. But this is the old cattle barn right here. And yeah, it's it's definitely a little bit dated, but not bad. It's in pretty good shape. Um, you know what? Let me pull you around. Let's, let's take a look inside. So it does look like we have like a fermenting silo. So I might be able to do silage in there. I don't know yet. As far as everything else goes... We got to go up the ramp, and there's a whole storage area inside, which is really quite convenient. Open sesame. So the nice, the real nice thing about this is it does have storage up here for, well, feed. Uh, hay bales, straw bales, whatever, right, guys? I got a lot of space up here to store all that stuff. And if you look over here, I can just open this bad boy on up and throw bales down to feed them. Like, it was designed pretty smartly. I like this. If I go down the stairs, we can go down into our milking room down here, where we, of course, store our milk which will be eventually turned into butter. They got a fairly new system in here uh, for milking the cows, which is kind of a nice to see, something I don't have to worry too much about replacing. And then, yeah, just um, the pen itself for the cows. Guys, this is not bad at all. Can we go this way here? Yeah, we can. We can get right, in, right into the room. Anyways, there you go. That's the, the $2 tour, $1, I don't even know, $0.05 cent tour, whatever, but it doesn't matter. It's going to make us butter. Okay, it's, it's not going to make us butter yet. This is going to make us milk, hopefully. But... Um, 
still got a problem. I got $81,000. This cost us roughly two hundred and fifty dollars for the, the field plus the, well, the cattle barn as well. Field's roughly... Four acres? Seven acres? I'll have to double check the, the deed again. But anyways, it's a few acres. Uh, not huge by any stretch of the imagination, but it should be enough to get us at least hay for these cows. That's all I really... I'm going to worry about the hay. I'm not going to worry about doing TMR, getting silage, anything yet. yet. I'd rather not do grass. Just get hay. But for now, I think it's time to start searching the auction sites and seeing if I can get... Well, what do I need, guys? I need to, I need to be able to pull food in for our cows. I'm going to need, of course, some kind of a, a mower of some sort. I'm going to need a tether, a, a rake, and a baler. Oh, boy. And then a way to manipulate or move bales. So, I've got 80 grand to spend. Let's see how I make do. Holy. That's going to be tight. That's going to be super tight. I can't believe we had that in the budget. Mm. All right, the equipment's all arrived. Um... Pickets were pretty thin, to be perfectly honest. There was not a lot of options for me out there. Uh, I had to buy, well, like the Kubota, the pull behind swather here, brand spanking new. We got a Vermeer uh, Tedder, pretty, yeah, it's brand new. We got an old New Holland Rake. The Rake was really tough to find anything else. I was hoping to find something, I don't know, a little bit better for cheap, but unfortunately everything's new right now. And so I had to find an old Rake to use. This is going to have to do for the time being, at least. It was only like 1200 bucks, but between these. The tether is, I don't even remember what it was, the 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 swather, the pull behind swather is 20 some thousand. And then lastly, guys, I had to get an old small baler, a little baby baler, the 348 with a trailer. Um, once again, another like 20 grand for the tube, something like that, a little more than 20, I think, off the top of my head. Anyways, we're sitting at 16,000 left over, so 65 grand for, for everything. So I still got some money left over for cows, which is really good, actually. There is still a minor problem. Let's hook up to the Kubota here and uh, we'll tell you about it. So this will at least get us started with our feed, right? That's the key. I was concerned that I was going to get to a point where I might just have to settle with grass. Um, I thought about that. The tether is relatively inexpensive. That's only one little added uh, price tag on on top of everything. It's, you know, what? An extra like $10,000, I think, for that tether. So really not that much money. I was concerned, though. I was. Um, I just, I, I, I'm going to have to find ways of getting better equipment at some point we'll see how we do here but it is going to be an issue going forward i can just tell you right now uh let's let's get this going drop that in and away we go so the nice thing is we just have it all right now so as far as our issues going forward we don't have any way to transport milk right now we just don't have the we don't have anything i'm going to have to buy some kind of a tank trailer i don't know i gotta find something to do with it uh yeah, something small maybe we can tow with the truck for the time being Guys, I need to, I'm going to need a new tractor as well. Um, this old John Deere, the 7810, I am, I'm using it for everything. I'm beating the snot out of it. It's, I mean, it's used for every single function of our farm from planting to weeding to fertilizer. Like, you know, liming, it's not doing liming. There's one thing it doesn't do at least, I guess. But heck, I mean, the thing even does, I mean, it harvests. It even goes in and pulls a combine. It does absolutely everything on this farm. Uh, and it had a few miles on it to begin with, so... Let's uh, maybe think about that. I was planning on upgrading the combine this year. I, I guess, I guess this new farm has kind of pushed that aside, hasn't it? The Kubota is working pretty good. Yeah, Pull Behind Swather is doing just fine. Of course, we expected that, so not a huge surprise there for this size field. I think this this we can actually work with this for quite some time. I'm not overly uh, concerned about that, but like I said, the rest going forward. You know what? Let's. Uh, well, we got the Vermeer Tether. That should be fine. The rake, guys, the rake is where things are going to get interesting. Let me just finish this off. Oh, yeah. Let's go grab that. Let's go grab that tether, guys. Looks good. Looks good. Lots of hay. Yeah. Do I have enough money to buy cows? Um, I'm going to let that one marinate for a second. Hey, you guys. Are you guys sick of the 7810 yet? Are you guys sick of seeing the 7810? Because this is all we've been driving forever, it feels like, out here in Iowa. Um, the 7810 is definitely... She's getting a workout. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we've ever, I don't know. It seems like I've just been driving this thing constantly. I've got, I have definitely worn a, a nice comfy spot in this seat. It is, um, 100% my spot. Let's go with that. All right. One more task done. Let's go get the rake. All right. Here's the part that I was not looking forward to. Yeah. I know this is like overkill central. What do you do? You guys, seriously, what do you, what do you do? It is. I mean, it's still, it's still heavy, of course. I mean, I can't pull it. I don't have anything else with PTO anyways. But actually, no, it doesn't take a PTO, does it? Anyways, I, I just don't have any other way of pulling this. So, um, 
this is what I got to do. Uh, I mean, this is going to be something we're going to probably replace sooner than later. But this has got to work for the time being. And it's, you know, it's an old New Holland, but it's still, it'll still do just fine, right? Let's fire this on up. Is it PTO? Yeah, I guess it's PTO. Mm, it doesn't have the PTO on there. In real, I think these are pull behind, are they not? Anyways, let's um, see if we can rake this up. We're going to go counterclockwise this time, so it'll uh, actually pull all the all the hay towards the uh, the left side, I suppose. There we go. Anyways, guys, uh, kind of a not great system. I'm not exactly happy with what we're having to do with this. It, it's not the best rake in the world for, for our size of our, our farm here. It's going to make things a little bit slow when it comes to bailing, of course, too. But... Um, I don't really have a choice right now. There's nothing that's really in my price range. I'm going to have to watch the used market, I think. And maybe we'll get lucky with that. That's the only thing I think of. As of for now, though, like, this is... This is really going to have to be it, isn't it? It's unfortunate, but what do you what do you do right now? I, just, I don't really... I don't want to try and take out any more money. I, I'm just trying to find a way to make things... Just trying to find a way to make ends meet right now. A little extra work, a little... And we're doing with, what, four acres of field? The 7810 can handle this. It's just a nice little drive in the park, basically, for it. It's just, I would really like to, well, find a way to make things go a little bit quicker, of course. Yeah, this is, um, <laughs> the pain is real sometimes. These old, old equipment. We should have, technically, maybe I could find, like, an old, an old John Deere or uh, something a little, more, a little more antique to pull this with, and then I'd be a little more authentic, I guess. Like a little bit more, uh, a little more antique style, a little more collection style farm going on, but we've got the 7810, which is not, well, it's older for sure, but you know, the New Holland is definitely a few more years on that. You know, it's, it's funny though, like, we're making a couple hundred thousand dollars a year, that sh technically would be fine, really, I mean, for most most of us, it would be just totally fine, but uh, no, that's not the way I'm going to run things, of course, I'm going to try to go a little bit crazy and see how much more money we can make, you know what, it's never been me to just be satisfied with what we have i always want to see what's next what can i say so uh, the, the the you know what we, we had the hog farm plan well it's it's just been delayed it's been prorogued a little bit put it that way it's been held back we're gonna have to get some cows first too bad we can can you get pig cheese uh, don't answer that guys don't answer that oh boy all right almost done uh, i'm just trying to tidy up a couple of these rows right now and we'll get the baler out Make some baby bales, and hopefully by the end of today, we can get some cows going, guys. Um, there is one other thing I've been thinking about while we've been while raking this field. And um, it is a little interesting because, like I said, I'm the whole purpose I'm doing this, guys, is to make butter, right? The whole purpose. The whole thing. The whole shebang. Everything we're doing here is to make butter. Yeah, that's right. I've still got one problem I'm going to need to fix, of course. It's not that it's unfixable, but, um, guys, it's it's a bit of an issue, and that is, well, I don't have, I don't have the, I don't own the creamery. I, I, I can't make butter yet, and that's going to cost me, like, $70,000, and fire you up. There, oh, wow, that was, <laughs> that was exciting. Um, yeah, we could definitely get this done this year, but when you're planning on doing things, like, right off the bat and getting things... Oh, 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 I hit, I didn't, I didn't lower it. Hang on a sec, we'll spin this around. Mulligan! Okay, this time, th which button is it? This one here? There we go. Um, yeah, when you're planning on... Oh, come on, come on, come on. Grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that. There we go. When you're planning on, on using the creamery to save yourself, and you, you don't technically own it, it's a, it's a bit of an issue. So, that's something we need to save money for. And of course, like I said, we need to ship milk as well. Um... I don't have any money really put away for that yet. I need to buy a trailer that's going to be able to hold well milk and move it around. Yeah, I've got I've got some issues I'm gonna have to deal with coming up here in a little bit. But first things first, get food for our cows. We'll get some cattle into our barn, and um, we'll go from there. It's not like a, it's a, it's plan. What plan are we on? Is anyone keeping track anymore? Hold them a little quick. We'll slow down. Slow down. Gear down. Gear down. There we go. I don't know. I don't know where we at anymore, guys. I'm just. Trying to, I'm trying to survive here. Oh man, we're uh, <laughs> we're sending quite a few bales up there. Look at them go. Yeah, this is uh, lots of little bales coming out. The, the, the system's working out alright. Um, I'm gonna have to stack these all by hand, of course, which is always always fun. But hey, we're doing this on the cheap. What do you expect? Because I'm trying to get back to the the barn here to store this stuff. Um, you know what? If uh, I had someone here stacking bales as we were uh, pumping them out, it would be a lot better. But here I am, just kind of trying to get all these bales back on the trailer, just to, to get us 
get us back. I think it should be all right. Let's see. Let's see if that's going to work for now. We just I got just need to get back down this this line here. <laughs> then we'll we'll go unload. I got a few bales in here to, to say the least. Um, should get us going. I think it's actually uh, quite a few bales. There's the the baby bales, of course. So it's not exactly like oh oh oh. Oh, there we go. Stay on there. It's not exactly like they're uh, going to last that long for feed, but um, you know what? It's not too bad. Get up there. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Just missing a little bit of the hay. Not not too bad. It's okay. We're doing right. We're doing right. We're doing right. All right. So we got about a hundred bales made already, and uh, we've still got a lot of work still to do. Oh, I got one out in the field I missed. Um, let's go put these up in the shop up here. We're going to go store all these up on top for now. Yeah, perfect. You know what? This isn't the worst thing ever. This will work. All right. That's a start. Let's get going. Let's uh, keep on rolling through here. We've stacked a bunch of them. I got a bunch more bales. Go grab. We need to fill this barn full. I want this barn absolutely full of bales. Oh, man. Rain's coming. I got to get these. Uh, I got to get this, this grass, this hay off the field here. We got to get. We got a couple more passes left to do. But the rain is coming. So I got to hurry up. I was just sitting in there stacking bales. And all of a sudden, you could just hear the thunder starting to come. Come on. Which, where look at that. Let's bring that down there we go and uh yeah i could hear the thunder inside the barn i'm like what is that did i drop something underneath it sounds like the sh floorboards are shaking oh no 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 it's it's about to start raining yeah we need to we need to get this last few passes of, of the hay off here get this done get it into the barn and uh we'll go from there don't want i don't want no soggy wet hay in here come on nice and easy nice and easy there we go let's stack them in let's go there we go perfect yeah, this is working out pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with this. Like I said, the baler we can work with. I would like to get the rake eh, maybe a little bigger sooner. Enough. I got other things to worry about. First of all, of course, we got cattle. We got to work about the creamery. We got to worry about moving the milk. There's other problems first, though. Oh, that combine as well. Man, lots of things to worry about. Uh, let me get this final bit stacked, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so that there should about do us. That's 250 bales done. Not too bad. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of happy about that. 250 bales? Oh, wait, wait. We missed one. We missed one. Hang on a sec. Let's close that up. Let's grab this. Let that fall out. I think I opened the side up. 250 bales done. That should last us a while for the small amount of cattle we'll have in here. Let me just put this aside. We're going to go stack this up. I'll show you guys inside the barn here, and we'll take a look at how many bales we got stacked. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, man. She's coming down. Okay. There's... Well, our bales, they're all stacked up. We've got them all stacked into nice little piles here. Uh, if we look down below, actually got cattle in here as well. Guys, we're doing good. We got, I'm happy. You know what? Let me eat some cows here. Let's see. I can reach up at the top and grab, we'll grab a couple of bales here. Let's go for a, can I grab a couple of these guys? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Just, just throw them down. Um, got to throw them down over here. Come on. No, 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 no. Grab all you and then you got to go. You have to go in there. I, I have cows. Guys, I have cows. Oh, there's the bull, by the way. I mean, not a bad way to, to deal with feeding your cattle, at least. Um, I've definitely had harder things to deal with. This is actually not too bad. We just kind of come in, grab a couple of bales, toss them down below. You know, eventually what I'd like to do is get maybe um, a skid steer or something in here. I think that would probably make this a little bit more efficient than hand bombing these things. But you know what? This this works just fine, I suppose. Um, I'll show you our cows here in a sec. Let me just make sure these guys get fed. They're going to take a few bales. It's gonna take a, this is going to take a hot minute. All right, that should about do it. Let me just toss one more in. I think they should be... Should be full enough down there. Yeah, perfect. That's a good sign, right? Let's close this door on up for now. Somewhere in here we can... Where's the handle? And close it usually. Where is it? Ah, oh, there we go. That's better. <laughs> All right, so let's go check on our cows down here. Like I said, we've only got mm, seven seven cows, one bull. Where's, where's the bull? Gotta keep your eye. Oh, there he is. Our bull's right here. And we do have our seven cows all around. Not a, not a lot. I'm hoping... I don't need a ton, to be honest with you. Um, these are our full, full-grown cows that are a year and a half olds. Uh, I didn't bother with heifers or getting uh, getting any baby cows, any calves, anything like that. We're starting off by getting full-grown cows for now, and we'll we'll let it grow naturally at least. It, it'll be cheaper on the hay if I don't go too crazy, of course, with this. Of course, I had to spend a premium to buy them, but hey, what do you do, guys? This is um, hopefully going to be enough cattle to at least get us a little bit of butter to start with. It's a plan, right? I just told you my, my goal is to get butter to start. Well, we have cows. We fed them. It's the waiting game now, right? All right, so we're going to head back to the farm. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit here. We'll see how our cows are doing, but our corn crop is good. The cattle, the new cattle farm is looking good. 
I'm happy. It'll be, um, yeah, a couple months, I guess, here. Let me get our hazards on. And uh, we'll see how we make do. I'm going to have to come back and feed these guys tomorrow, of course. Make sure the hay stocks are taken care of. We'll see what we can do with silage, maybe. I don't know yet. TMR was a bit of a pipe dream. We're still a little ways away from that, I think. We need more fields, I'm, I'm pretty sure, before we can start looking into that. We'll see how we do, though. So we'll head back over to the farm, call it a day, and uh, I'll see you guys a little later on this summer. Oh, welcome back into summer. It's June now. Time's, time's passing by, guys, and I'm out here working at the factory for a bit. The cattle are good. Our crops are fine. I, I need to make money now. I'm, I'm actually broke completely broke but i'm gonna get rid of some of this garbage popcorn the garbage popcorn you know what to be perfectly honest i'm gonna sell everything off we're gonna get rid of everything today and see if i can get above board like i said now i need to find a way to ship milk and i need i need to come up with seventy thousand dollars i need 70 70 grand um to buy the creamery i that's really what i'm trying to find a way to make happen right now we've already got a couple thousand liters of milk i, I just need to find a way to buy the creamery so that well we can progress down that path like i said my goal is butter my goal is baking butter uh, i know it's it's a bit of a pipe dream i'm kind of blowing everything else out of the water just to make this happen but this is where we got to be all right we'll sew all our popcorn off here i gotta go make a couple trips it looks like it's gonna take a hot minute to get rid of it all but um hey it is what it is hey we're not in the hole anymore man i would love to make a little bit more money than that though i'm telling you that's that's ridiculous all right so five thousand bucks were above board at least. Man, like the, the amount of popcorn to sell to make five grand is ridiculous. Uh, now we got the buttered popcorn. No, oh, I did have to spend some money. I still have butter butter in the um, in the factory, so that's not a bad thing. But I'm just saying that this cost me more money to build this or to make this buttered popcorn. But it's you know the demand is way better. Everyone wants their buttered popcorn, I guess. What can I say? Let's see what we make off of this shall we i think uh the best price to sell should be right in here i think it's the store here they want it i i thought maybe not maybe it's in the loading dock here hmm let's take a look oh there we go i, I just you know i just had to move a little bit just a, a little bit there just to get into the right spot um yeah see that's a, a little bit better a little bit better return on our profits there i'm just saying that yeah see that this is where i need to be obviously not not with the regular popcorn we need to we need to sell the buttered stuff all right, we're at 60 grand. 60 grand, the old account. I need 70, 70 for the creamery plus another, what do you guys figure for the trailer? Because we need to, to move the milk, of course. And then maybe another 10? Can I do it for less than that? Maybe I can find something used. We'll see, we shall see. Uh, we got two more pallets of, of the buttered popcorn here. Let's take a quick look inside and see how much we got left here. I think I got still quite a bit. So we can see we've still got 2000 liters of butter, of course. Lots of corn still left over, so we still have lots of buttered popcorn we can be making, guys. It's still going to be making us some decent profits for a bit. So I think, I think I'm still going to afford the creamery and be able to get a trailer here. In, in fact, okay, so we got like, what, almost 60 grand there. If you think about it, we may actually have enough money to, to upgrade some other pieces of equipment like that rake. Might be something we could do. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Things are starting to come together, though. All right, guys, another month has passed. We're into August already, holy. Actually, maybe it's two months. I can't remember when I talked to you last. But you know what? Guys, do you, you see what's on the counter right here? You see this? That milk? Yeah, it, it's time. Guys, it's time. That's right, I've sold off. We should jump the fence. I've sold off a bunch more of our buttered popcorn. So we're getting there. I mean, it's almost harvest season. Look at the corn out there. It's almost harvest season. Another couple months and we'll be there. But I have bought a trailer to start shipping milk. It's nothing special, but it's going to work just fine. I'm sure this is all we need. It only holds about 2,000 leads, liters, farming units, and um, that it's enough, guys. I it's gonna this is going to accomplish our goal of actually shipping milk. I don't know. This might do it right now. Like we're, it's gonna happen. We're doing this on the cheap, and it actually worked out. All right, let's uh, let's head over to well, we're at the, the, the range road there, and we're gonna head up to uh, this the cattle farm, and uh, we'll go see if we can. We can take care of that right off the bat here. Uh, I want to start shipping this. I've got to, we still have to purchase the creamery. So the deal's in the works. Don't you worry. It's all, I've just got to sign that final paperwork here and that's going to be ours. It's going to put us back down to almost no money again. But I think by the time harvest comes, we should actually have enough money from the dairy uh, or the, uh, the buttered popcorn. I think we'll have to see, but 
that's not my concern today. Like I said, the, the goal of today was to make butter. Yeah, guys, I'm a little impressed. I did not think we... I wasn't sure. I, I don't want to say... I mean, I'm always optimistic, but I didn't know if I'd have a chance to get through and really pull that together in time for, um, well, in, what, six months? Yeah, our seven cows are actually doing decently. We're already a couple months in. Well, we should have some baby cows. Well, next year, this time for sure, we'll have some baby cows here. Holy, we're already at around, well, 17, 18,000 liters of milk already. That's, um, well, it's nine trips. I, if you did the math, that holds 2,000. Yeah, that's a lot. We got, a, we got a few trips to make over to the creamery. We gotta go buy it first. Let's go. Oh, man, guys, I'm, I'm impressed. This has actually worked out as well, as good as it possibly could have, I think, for us. I wasn't really, like I said, 100% sure we were gonna be able to pull this off before harvest, at least. Um, I was a little worried about even doing it in the year, but here we are. We've got our cattle farm up and running already. And actually a fair amount of milk already for considering we've only got, what, seven cows? Decent. Definitely decent. Let's um, let's go in and, and sign off on this, guys, before we uh, sell our milk in here by accident. <laughs> All right, guys, we're, we're doing it. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Um, it's owned. We're making butter and cheese right off the bat. So I'm going to go sh do some shipments and then we'll go from there. But things are... Things are looking really good right now. You're in the butter zone now, baby. So guys, I think that's actually going to do it for today, though. I mean, we've got 16, 17 grand in the account. Got a bunch of milk still in here. We're making butter. Our goal isn't completed. We've we've built a cattle farm from scratch with basically next to no money almost. Really, this is coming together quite nice. I can't believe we got this cattle farm up today. This is awesome. And we got a field that's ready almost to harvest so we can get some more. Maybe we'll do some silage right away. Maybe we'll work into that and get the production up a little bit higher even. Guys, the, the sky's the limit right now. Things are looking good. We got the ca the corn going to be taken care of. I am super excited. Things are coming together. Well, guys, the corn out here on, in Iowa is actually ready to harvest. I mean, this golden color looks like um, good things are about to come our way. And, well, you know what that means. We need to get the 7810 and the pull behind harvester up and running. We're already warming it up. Everything's been kind of worked on a little, a little tiny bit, to be perfectly honest, guys. I've been extremely busy. I mean, guys, last year we didn't have cattle to deal with. Now I've only got seven cows, I know, but, well, one bull. But anyways, they've been keeping me extremely busy. Yeah, we, we did a bunch of haying as well the other day. Um, we're running out of space in the barn, but the cows will eat through this eventually, right? Look at all, oh man, look at all the, the mini bales we got. Then of course, on top of that, we're running two different businesses now. We've got a pop popcorn factory. Popcorn fact. What is a popcorn factory, Clutch? <laughs> We've got a popcorn factory, which is doing decently. Do we got lots of pop. We still have corn left in this from our last harvest. So that's something we need to talk about. And then, of course, just down the street, we're running the dairy, which, well, the main thing is to get the, the butter to use over on our popcorn factory, because otherwise our popcorn is worth nothing. Diddly squat. Zippo. We have already acknowledged that certain procedural mistakes were made. So guys, between all those things, I have dreams of grandeur, to say the least. I've got to, I think we're going to be doing all right. We're a little on the broke side right now, but to be perfectly honest, I think things are going to change pretty quickly today. Let's jump into the John Deere here. Let's get the 7810 fired in the field and we'll talk about it. All right, let's fire the old 7721 on up here. You know what, guys? I was really, I'm really hoping this is the last harvest I have to do with this combine. Um, don't get me wrong, it, it's, it runs just fine, but it is also just a little bit of a pain as, well, you can plainly imagine. Um, let's get this in. There we go. Corn inbound. Perfect. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Let's get it nice and tight up against the side here. Can we go oh, easy, easy? I'm going way too fast there. Let's, let's slow this down. Does not like to work at 12 miles an hour. Let's get her down to eight, maybe nine. Anyways, like I was saying, guys, uh, we're making good money right now. Like the, the finances are going to be good at uh, pretty quickly. Like I said, we're at 6000 bucks in the old account right now. I don't have any any loans. We don't owe anybody any money. So, so we're all good there, at least. But, I mean, we're going to get a lot of money off of this, this cornfield, potentially. Now, I could obviously just sell this all as just corn. And it's actually worthwhile to do that. But we're also going to take some and take it over to the popcorn factory and see if we can uh, maximize our profits there. Now, the one problem I'm going to run into is a storage issue, I'm sure, once again. Yeah, and I mean, I'm already judging right now at the yield we're getting off of this crop guys 
It looks better than it did last year. And we ran out of storage space last year, as you guys may recall. So that's going to be an issue again. I'm going to run out of space in the silo. Pretty much a guarantee right now. I thought about buying, building another one. I just don't have the money for it. Yeah, guys, the harvest came a little prematurely for us, I guess. I just, if we could have sold maybe more of our products from the popcorn factory or even maybe some cheese, because we are making cheese as well right now out of the creamery because I'm making too much milk, even with our seven cows. Yeah, how does that happen? Seven cows are making me enough money or enough enough milk to really supply the, the creamery. I, I don't know how that's possible, but the amount of... The amount of milk those guys are baking is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, just wait until we get a few more. It's uh, it's going to be even worse. Speaking of which, we got to talk about all that at some point. We got to get through this harvest first. We get through this harvest. It's going to take me at least half the day today to get through this probably. So a little afternoon, we'll probably get through this harvest and then we can move on, hopefully. And uh, well, well, we got to do some stuff with our factories and hopefully get some cash for all this stuff. We got lots of we got lots of we got lots of bills to pay pretty quick here. I think. I'm trying to remember when we did this last time, how far we got for our second. It seems like you know what I expected to get more corn off this. To be honest, I thought I took better care of this field. I thought I put proper fertilizer. We made sure it was lined. We rolled it out. It feels like we're about the same spot. Maybe a little. Maybe it's a little bit early, but we're pretty darn close to the same spot. It feels like for the second uh, time we're unloading this, we get what seven, almost seven thousand here. It, it doesn't feel like we're getting that much higher of a yield, but maybe a little bit. I mean, look at this field. I mean, we've got everything is like perfect on it. Pretty much perfect. Pretty much. So yeah, guys, I'm a little surprised. I thought we had a little higher yield. It's still good yield. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. I just I spent a little more time this year, so I kind of had higher expectations, I guess. That's all. That's that's what I'm you guys picking up what I'm throwing down here. I was trying to look out the back window there. I don't have one. All right, we're going to load this thing up. It's going to take us this is going to take us a bit of time. I've got lots of harvest. We've done our first headland. I've got a lot of work to do. This is, this is a big field. I mean, it's 30 plus acres, right? So um, give me some time. We'll be a bit. We'll get her done. We'll get her done. 33.57 acres. There you go. We'll get her done and um, we'll see what we're going to do with this and see if we can get out of our, I wouldn't say debt, but it's, it's going to be, I'm, I, I have high hopes that the money is going to be starting to roll in. Well, this harvest is going to help us. Oh boy, all right. Harvest is... Oh, well, she's completed. Uh, what do we got left in here? I've already been making some moves. I've been moving some some stuff we got. Let's take a quick look. Uh, 250,000 left over in here. The truck is full, but that's it for the corn. We're done. You know what, to be honest, I expected a bit more. Yeah, guys, if I looked like I had almost perfect soil this time. I mean, I made a little bit more than last time, but not a ton. But I have been shipping stuff already, like I said, over to the uh, the factory, uh, the popcorn factory. In fact, let's go for a drive. We'll take another load over there right now, so we can fill that thing up. And tarps on. Ah, there we go. All right, hammer down. Let's get the old Mac over to the old popcorn factory, and uh, like I said, we're gonna see if we can. Uh, I'm gonna fill it right up now. We'll take a look at our numbers when we get over there. Uh, we're going to run into a little bit of a strategic issue here for making money at some point where that popcorn factory is not going to be making enough popcorn to sell fast enough, essentially, for the amount we make per year. Even last year, we didn't run through the... Like, we I think we pretty much filled it up last year, and we didn't run through enough. Guys, I'm struggling here. Look at the speed. Oh, she's loud. Come on, let's go. Get up the hill. And then you hear the old the braking system as well. All right, let's get going. Highways right here, hammer down. To be honest, in this old Mac, I don't think I've heard a brake system quite like that. Is that it's not a transmission brake? Is that the Jake on this one? The way that sounds, it sounds a little bit weird to me. Let me guys, you know, in the comments, if you guys have driven an old Mac like this, it does sound like a little bit rough here. You know, we'll slow her down a little bit, let her off the accelerator, we'll get the speed. But here, here, listen to this. See what I mean? It does sound a little bit weird. I, I don't know if it's a mechanical issue I'm having, but hey, let me know in the comments if you guys have had an old Mac like this and if that sounds like the same for you as well. It's um, it's something I don't want to fix, that's for sure. All right, guys, so the most I can fit into the old popcorn factory is 100,000 farming units. That is the most I can fit in there. Let me sneak across here. Sorry, dude, I've got to sneak past you. I've got to sneak past you. It's okay. We're, we're just blocking traffic. I've got to get off the highway. Anyways, it's 100,000 farming units is the most we can put into this thing. So we're, we've got more than that, of course. It's going to take us, um, well, we're going to have to storage for a little bit. You know, we, I've, got, I've got a bunch of strategy we got to talk about here. We're going to look at the cows still. Just saying that things are good now. Like, we've got a lot of 
We've got a lot of product. We just got to find a way to sell it all off. All right. Let's unload the 40,000 or so ish we have in here right now. And um, we'll take a look. Let's go take a look at numbers. Let's, let's go inside and take a look, shall we? Uh, yeah, doors right here. All right, guys. So our popcorn is going in. We have 70,000 farming units of that. Like I said, I could probably put a little bit more in here, of course. Maybe another truckload-ish to put in here. The butter is something we're going to need to make a little bit more of. We're making butter over at the dairy. And the salt we can buy for free, which is kind of nice. But we're only making butter popcorn. I'm not wasting my time with regular popcorn. There's no point in me making this because it's not worth anything. Buttered popcorn, still worthwhile though. So guys, I'm going to load that thing completely up. We're going to fill up as much corn as we can into that. But there's something, it's, well, something else is happening this month, which makes it a little bit more interesting because we have to, we have to deal with this corn in another way as well. So we'll fill this truck right up. We're still going to have around 200,000 farming units of corn in the bin, but I don't think it's going to stay there. Let me finish this load off, I'll tell you about it. All right, we are completely filled up at the old pop corn factory. Two trips is all it took to fill us up. I'm going to need some butter, but more on that in, in just a second. Now, I still have roughly 210,000 units of our, our corn. Guys, it's going to be the best time to sell is going to be January. So we're going to probably sell all that off in January. I'm not going to worry about sending any more over to the popcorn factory until then. I think it... We have more than enough, more than enough in there. However, guys, we're in October right now. You can see the green lettering here. It's October. So milk, butter, and cheese need to go. They need to be sold right now. Everything I've got, I want to sell off. So it's still, I'm gonna, I should be able to get like 30, 50, you know, 60 some thousand bucks just off those. Now, the butter, like I said, we have a butter issue right now, but we're making butter, so I'm not too concerned. Now, like I said, these are all hard goods I need to sell off, like palleted goods. I need a better way to ship stuff with pallets. Um, I, I don't have a lot of money to spend right now. I do have I do have corn right now. You know what? I'm going to sell off a little bit of this corn. And just to see if I can get... It's almost like a payday loan, right? I'm, I know it's not the best time to be selling our corn. I'm just going to get out of this parking lot as well. But it, it, i got to find a way to make a little bit more money right now if I can. Like, let's see. I'll just try and dump a little more in here. I don't think it's going to take much. Yeah, nothing. I'm going to sell this money, this, this corn off, get a little bit of cash. A little bit more money and we can maybe buy some kind of a trailer just to try to move some stuff around. Let me go sell us off. I'll, I'll catch up with you guys in, in a little bit here. All right. Corn that was in the truck sold off. Everything is full over at the old popcorn factory. Let's go start taking care of making money with some of our more diversified means. Uh, we've got milk with the milk trailer here we're going to be able to sell off. Of course, we've got cheese and the, what was it? Cheese and cheese and butter cheese and butter yeah you, you know what i got what i mean guys you, you guys are picking up and throw it down anyways i've got something else that that i want to do as well you know what? let's hook up to this trailer we're gonna take the milk trailer over here as well i've already paid for another trailer on top of this and no it's it's not for our pallets yet to be honest uh yeah i'm still using the truck as of right now but i'm hoping we can change that i think i've got enough money we can buy something now that will allow us to uh to ship those pallets a little bit better but we'll see. We'll see what all we can do on the cheap here. I'm um, trying to keep trying to keep it on the cheap. Now, now, once again, guys, we only have we're only getting like what seven seven thousand farming units of any of our products really. So we don't need a massive like we don't need a fifty three foot dry bed or anything like that. We don't need any kind of big trailer to really go nuts with the shipping. I don't think uh, every couple months we'll just have to go over with if I can get maybe a small flat deck or a small shipping trailer of some sort. I think that's all I really really will really need. Wow. Words are tough right now. <laughs> to be honest, actually, guys, the um, the milk trailer we're running right now, that's going to need to be replaced sooner than later. As soon as we get some, some calves, as soon as the baby cows come, that's something we need to fix because I'm having a struggle keeping up with our cows right now. Let's back this guy right on in. And uh, while this is loading up, let me let me show you the trailer that we bought. It, it don't get... It, this is not going to be like a, oh, wow, clutch, that's awesome. But it's something, all right? Let me uh, just load this up and I'll go show it to you. So you guys remember how we were talking about having problems with well keeping the the popcorn factory it's always full and you know if it's running if it's full it's fine but if it's if you're if you're running out of space for the products then you're you're not running at full efficiency well in a way we're having that problem here once again um the, our cattle men, guys our cattle are doing great but slurry is starting to pile up a little bit in fact Piling up more than you know because I've already unloaded some of that. And that's what we bought. It's just a small, small slurry trailer. A couple grand. Yeah, I know. It's nothing crazy, but it, it holds 10,000 farming units of slurry. And guess what? We could sell this off. I don't have a use for it yet. Guys, I, I can't 
I would love to spread it on as free fertilizer, to be perfectly honest. I just don't have the means yet. So what we're going to do instead, instead of, of just letting it sit there and piling up and not using it, I might as well sell it off. I, I'm not going to make a ton of cash with this. Like, literally, if I can pay for this trailer itself off a couple shipments, that's, that's a bonus. And then everything we do from there pays for my fuel, of course, to drive back and forth from biogas plant. It, there's nothing wrong with that. We should probably put our hazards on this old thing too, I guess. But guys, this, we can do this. This is not the, this is not bad. We're going to run into a problem with this though. Once again, once, well, in a few months, once we get some more calves, probably next, I guess next year, next spring, once we get the new calves, that's going to be a problem. All right, let's let's uh, let's just see what we get paid for this. Like I said, don't expect, don't expect anything too crazy here, but whatever, we'll take whatever profits we can get off this. Like seriously, I was just over $3,000 for this trailer shipped right to our door so what are we gonna get for payment from one quick shipment a thousand bucks all right i mean it would be nice if it was three thousand to be perfectly honest but i'll take a thousand let's go make a few more of these shipments all right slurry is not exactly the most profitable crop as we have kind of discussed but guys it did um it paid for that trailer so there is that anyways let's uh we, our milk milk trailers all, all of a sudden filled up of course let's go sell this off this is a lot more profitable of course I'm going to sell this off. It's the best month to sell milk, so we're not going to worry about the production for now. Like I said, the uh, the creamery can live with what it's got for the time being. I just want to sell off all the stuff we've got for, well, both the creamery and, well, the milk itself. That does, however, mean a few trips since um, this doesn't hold a whole heck of a lot of milk. It's going to take us, uh, what is it, like five trips to go get rid of all the milk we have? Yeah, I know. It's compla I'm complaining because I've got lots of stuff. To I don't have that much to sell. I need a bigger trailer. I'm hoping that after this, we can maybe upgrade this. And this, was, this, this trailer was a bit of a mistake. I'm not going to say it was the worst trailer to buy, but it is just a bit too small for our needs. Unfortunately, those cows, those cows are making more milk than I ever thought that they would for only having seven of them. All right, all the milk is sold off. We have already made about 50, actually 51, $52,000 just on kind of selling odds and ends. Now, we still have some stuff to sell. Like I said, I wanted to find a way to ship some of our dry goods, our products, basically. Um, I, I don't have a great solution for this yet. This is going to have to do for now, this trailer. I mean, we're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. If you think about it, I need a trailer that can kind of hold pallets and stuff that are kind of dry goods, essentially. I'd like to have a reefer unit, ideally, for the cheese, of course, but we're not shipping that far. But as also, I've got a half-ton truck that, well, I need a trailer that I can pull with that. So this kind of fits that bill, I think. Yeah, I know you Ford guys will say, oh, that truck can pull. I know it can, whatever. Listen, this is this is the best we could do right now for short-term notice. This works just perfectly fine. I'll be able to fit all the pallets I need into this trailer to ship them around town. This old Ford is uh, starting to see better days, by the way. But it's 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 doing all right. It's doing all right. We got the trailer back there. We're we're doing a lot of driving in this truck. I find for shipping stuff. So you know what? If we could find a way, maybe to upgrade that sooner and later too. I don't know. I've got to come up with a hierarchy of what we want to upgrade first and last right now. I really don't know how I'm going to do this yet, guys. I mean, I would love to get some more land, of course. That would be the best way to make more money. Uh, but we also need a new combine. Because that pull behind combine is starting to feel a little dated. And it's definitely taking some sweet, sweet time to get through those fields. Uh, I'd also like to get something else other than just using the 7810 all the time. That John Deere. So, man, you know, like, those are all pretty high value high-priced high items that I want to buy to upgrade this farm. So basically what I'm saying is I'm going to be driving this old farm truck for, well, just a little bit longer. Just a bit. Alright guys, so this is pretty much everything that's ready to sell. Like I said, just kind of odds and ends right now. I mean, we just kind of got the dairy going, but we've got the butter up top there. We've got some cheese here as well. Let's just sell what we can, trying to just make a little bit of cash before the winter comes. So, well, maybe we can advance or get better, a little bit better equipment for, well, the new year here. Anyways, that's what we got for now. Let's go sell this stuff off. Once again, I don't have any kind of fertil or fertilization, refrigeration in the trailer. So, um, like I said, we're just shipping around town here. I just need to get to each of these little businesses quickly. We got to go to all well, the pizzeria and to the well, town center as well. And uh, get rid of each respectively. So, pizzerias actually should be just here on the left, I, I think. Somewhere right in here. Yeah, right here. Here we go. Here we go. See, there it is. Um... Yeah, yeah, Hypercube Pizza. Yeah, there we go. Is it Hypercube? Never. Why would you call it Hyper... It should be like Hyper Triangle Pizza. Who makes these names? What is that? Triangles 
are the strongest shape. All right, cheese is going in. Another 12,000 bucks. Not bad. All right, let's go sell off. Let's go sell off the last little bit here. We've got uh, the butter. The butter is the last thing. And that's, like I said, town center, which is a block behind us. <laughs> I feel so bad for this old truck. Oh, man. This trailer is actually a little heavier than I thought it was going to be for it. Oh, well. Uh, it's doing fine. It's doing fine. It's doing fine. It's, guys, it's, it's totally fine. Totally fine. Don't worry about it. Anyways, there you go. Another 21, 22,000 bucks plus the... How much would we say we had beforehand? I mean... Actually, you know what, guys? We're just shy of $100,000 we made today. Like, a little bit. Maybe 90000 bucks. Guys, that's that's reasonable. That's pretty decent for kind of odds and ends. Like, 90000 bucks, we had only... We had, like, next to nothing to start with. And I bought a bunch of trailers, so... Um, I don't know what to say about that other than the fact that I'm kind of happy about it. There you go. You know what? Like, just when you think you're kind of not doing so great, you might be in trouble for the, the following season. There you go. You got an, an easy, cool... Almost six figure, not quite. Close enough though. Anyways, let's take this back. I'm gonna go store this over here and uh, head back to the farm for the day, I guess. Guys, we've got um, we've got a couple problems. I've got one, one problem I can fix, and I got one we're gonna have to live with. Either way, problem solved. Actually, I've got three. Pro what is my dog doing? Huh? Yeah, I I may have three problems. <laughs> He can't figure out how to get to his ball. He's just running in circles around it. <laughs> Here, let me help. You want you want this? It's about to rain, by the way. It doesn't look like it, but it is. Hey, you want the ball? You want the ball? Here, go, go get it. Seriously, guys. Where's the rain coming from? Huh? <laughs> it's it's raining, but there isn't a cloud in the sky. Any well, there's the only one. Come on, what is going on here today? Anyways, like I said, I've got a couple problems to fix today. One, like I said, I'm not gonna be able to fix one. I'm going to just finish planting our field. We've sprayed our field. Everything field-wise is looking good. 78 uh, 7810 has been doing well. The Massey sprayer did our job for us. I'm gonna clean this stuff up and maybe put it away for a little bit because we're not gonna need that for. We're not going to need it for the problems we're running into right now. So let's talk about our first problem. That's the popcorn factory, guys. I'm making so much corn that our popcorn factory doesn't have enough storage. It just doesn't have enough storage. So I'm stuck storing it all outside here. I've gone and bought this little forklift or this pallet jack, I should say, aut automatic, automated pallet jack. And we're using that to load up into the trailer like you see. Let's just load this in. Nice and easy to get it up against the wall. Now, this trailer isn't exactly weighted or rated for this much weight, but it does an okay job. We're not going far. Let's just go. Let's just go with that. So I can load a bunch of these in just like this. Let's go outside, grab another one. And um, yeah, like there's just so much corn, guys. So I've ran out of storage on this. Also, our other factory, our, the dairy, guys, it's the same thing. We're just stacking it up. So look at all, look at all the popcorn we're getting out of this. Oh, man, what a pain. It's good, but it's also a bit of a struggle now. So I need to find a solution for all this popcorn. This is a good problem to have. Don't get me wrong. But it's still something we need to find a solution for. Let me just push this in a little bit further. Just a little bit further. There we go. That looks better. Now, as for our next problem, well, it isn't the truck and trailer, which is a problem. I'm not counting that. This is still going to be a problem going forward. Look at this. Yeah, this is a little bit ridiculous, but the old Ford can still handle it. Kinda? I mean, it kinda gets us around. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Anyways, yeah, it's, um, guys, this isn't ideal, but the old Ford, she's, um, she's, she's, she's doing good work, and the trailer might have some flats when I do this every time. I don't even know anymore, but it's getting it done, so I really can't complain. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's working. This is working just fine. So, in order to solve our our production problem, our storage issue, guys, I have come up with a plan to store all this stuff. And we're going to keep on making so many goods. We need, we do need to have an option, uh, the place to store the stuff. Let's be honest. It's just going to make more sense because I'm trying to sell everything at the highest possible price. Now, we were just selling all that corn. The corn was the highest price was early, a little bit earlier this year. We sold it all off at the highest possible price, so that's why we're having the storage problem. If I just sold it willy-nilly, of course, yeah, that would be fine. But we're trying to sell everything and maximize our profits, so that means we gotta store it and hold on to it for a year. 
And, uh, yeah, that becomes a bit of an issue. And that's where this piece of property right here comes in. Guys, we've made some decent money in the last little bit off of our popcorn, even some cheese. The milk hasn't really done much yet because we don't have enough cows, but we'll talk more about that in a second. But this piece of property, this is going to be our brand new logistics center. The K Sims Logistics Center takes care of well, all of our logistics need, basically. So that's going to be built in the next couple of months. I, that's all I can really tell you. It's April. We don't have much goods right now. We've sold it all off, but this is going to be built in time for next year for sure. So by the end of the summer, we'll have something here. All right. Um, by the time I see you guys again, I'll, I'll come show it to you, all right? There's nothing I can really do until then, so let's just get this built. And um, once she's done, I'll, I'll show you around. Yeah, all right. See you guys in a little bit. All right. Well, since we're waiting for our logistics center to build, I am not dealing with that. Let's um, let's head over to the the Calabar and I'll, we'll deal with problem number two. I told you I've got two problems to deal with today. We're working on one. I'm going to tell you about the second one. Seventy eight ten. Let's go. Corn crop is all starting to sprout. We got uh, it's actually looking pretty good out there. I've got all the weeds taken care of already. Uh, once again, well, we should get a decent yield off that crop, guys. It's steady as she goes as far as that goes, I suppose. The cattle barn's looking pretty good, actually. We've been working away out here. You might notice a few changes, you guys. There's been a few things that have changed. Um, you know what? We're going to be doing some hay in here in a sec. But uh, I want to show you, well, where we're standing right now. Let me just hook up to the Kubota pull behind here. Hang on. All right. So you may notice a new structure that we've um, erected, I, I guess. Yeah, it's well, it's actually been used already once. And uh, we also we also got a, a crone uh, pickup wagon as well. We got a wagon here that's uh, actually working out fairly well. We've um, we've been trying to find ways to get a little bit more production out of our cattle by feeding them a little bit better. And that's where this comes into place, guys. Yeah, I'm trying to make some TMR is what it is. I haven't made any yet. I have put silage in there. Well, silage. I put grass in here. We're making silage out of it. So that's where that's coming into play. So we're getting some silage out of that. And behind us, we have also picked up a Silo King food mixer. So we've got, well, hay up top and we've got silage here. We'll, we should be able to make some, uh, we should be able to make some TMR, I believe. And well, there's certain cows in here that are going to be excited about that. Look at this, guys. We got some calves. Guys, we got calves. Here, let me, uh, let me just show you. Now, well, with the bulls down there. Guys, it's um, it's working out all right. We got seven calves this year. Hey guys, what are you guys doing? We got seven calves. Unfortunately, every single one are males. We did not get any no heifers. So, um, I'm probably gonna be selling seven cows some point in the near future. Uh, in about a year from now, once these guys get up to maturity, I'll sell them all off. I have no use for seven bulls i really i really don't i need milk I, easy 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 i don't need more bulls i need i need heifers i need cows i need milk is what i need these guys i don't need them Seriously, what are the odds of me getting seven seven bulls out of that that's just come on really yes I, I come on man <laughs> what are the odds odds are they're probably basic white cotton underpants so that, that really is my problem. Like I said, there's nothing I can really do about it. I guess I could go and maybe trade, get some uh, get some cows, get some heifers for it instead on a trade, potentially, if we needed to get more milk, that's something we should consider. But, um, oh yeah, yeah, we got to unfold first. Hang on, hang on, there we go. That's something I'll consider when, when if we need to. We're gonna have to watch our milk levels and see how we're doing here. Let's turn this thing on and away we go. So, guys, I'm a little disappointed, to say the least. Um, that just means we're not going to be making as much milk as I was kind of hoping we would be making at this point in time. Uh, that is what it is. I don't, I, there's nothing I can do about that. So, we'll just have to keep on keeping on for the time being. Uh, we'll keep on feeding these guys, maybe sell those cows off. Make. I mean, we're not going to make a lot of money, but I'll send the cows. Like seven of them, we're going to have about 14000 ish Not even 14000 maybe $12,000 those seven cows like not worth it whatsoever really in the grand scheme of things i'm making almost as much off the slurry which yeah yeah now i know you guys have been with me for a bit here in iowa and uh you can see we were financially fairly secure to be perfectly honest um we could keep on keeping on and do pretty well i mean i know you're wondering why didn't you spend some cash right now getting a better a better mower a, something better to hay with i agree 
Uh, that's going to be coming. Don't worry. We, maybe if we can find a hay bind or, or self-propelled mower or something like that, that might be something coming down the pipe. I'm waiting for something to use, Mark, to be honest. But for now, this is going to work. Guys, that cache has been earmarked already. I'm trying to hold on to it for the time being because, quite honestly, as we need a combine. I, I don't want to use the pull behind this year. I'm trying to save up enough money to get something that's going to last us a little bit longer than... Maybe a couple seasons. I would love to get something that's going to last us, you know, the next half a dozen years. Maybe the next decade even, if we could get to that point. But I'm going to need something with some serious horsepower. Because we've got some big fields and big plans out here in Iowa. And speaking of which, uh, speaking of, of taking care of this farm, um, welcome to all the newest subscribers that have been checking it out lately. Um, welcome in if you're new. Cheers to you guys. Thanks for joining and hit the big subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, maybe you can go down to the bottom. Check the subscribe button out yourself, and maybe you'll get your name down at the bottom of the next video. It could happen. It, it always does. You never never know if it'll be you. Anyways, thanks for joining, guys. Um, cheers to you guys. Make sure you guys ring the bell while you're down there, and slap the like, too. Why not, right? I, I haven't let the cruise control off on this field yet. We're doing uh, 14 miles per hour, which is a little bit quick with the pull behind Swather, but it's doing all right. It's, it's, it's handling it. A little on the fast side, though, I have to admit. It's a little on the fast side for me, to be honest, to try to... You know what? Here to watch. We got to raise it up, raise it, spin it around, and then get a line back up on the backside here, and then drop it back down again. It, a lot of things happening all at once, and uh, guys, I have enough trouble trying to walk and chew bubble gum sometimes. So <laughs> this is this is more than I need to do. All right, spin it. Let's go. One more time. One more time. Come on, and drop it. Nailed it. All right, so we've wrapped this up. I'm gonna go grab the rake, and uh, we'll just clean this up a little bit. And we'll use our new our new system for picking all this up. At least I don't have to tatter anything, so that's a good thing. Trying to make some silage this time, guys. Let's, uh, there we go. Let's go. And of course, yes, I know I do have a silo attached right to our barn. Unfortunately, for some reason, it's not fermenting the silage, or it's not fermenting the grass into silage in there. So it's more of a storage. So what we're going to be doing is most likely is taking our silage out of, well, that bunker and uh, putting it back in the one over there. Well, maybe once we mix some TMR, I don't know what we're going to do yet. We'll, we'll do something. We'll figure something out with it. But uh, as of right now, yeah, guys, it's not making any TMR. Oh, yeah, yeah. hang on. I'm, yeah, I'm unwrap. Yeah, I'm on it. There we go. All right. Uh, let's 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 go and see if we can rake this up a little bit. And I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. This shouldn't take too long. It's a, it's a bit of a slow go, of course, with this rig. Yeah. Oh, well. See you guys in a bit. And just like that, we're done. That was quick. All right, let's uh, drop the rake back off to the old rake. Let them outside, leave them outside to rust. And uh, guys, um, we got the new pickup wagon. Like I said, I've used it once before, but it's a bit of a beast. Yeah, they recommend like a 7R to pull this thing, of course. We're using the 7810, which is just a little bit smaller than that. Yeah, ju just a tooch. Uh, but we'll be okay. It, it did all right. I've already tried this once. We put, um, well, we put one cut already into this silo. We'll see how she does today. I think it's already made it in the silage. We can probably start moving stuff around here later on. But uh, let's go see if we can move this out and see how she does. I'll show you how she works. But you know what? Not a bad purchase. We got this. It was, what, 83000 bucks. I think it was on sale. It's used. So um, you get what you get, right? But like, here we go. Fired it up. We'll, we'll drop the pickup head. And yep. That's about it. It's a good thing we're flat right now because uh, it, it would be a bit of a fight to go any faster. At least it, I mean, it picks it up pretty quick. Like it's a, this is a great trailer, but uh, it holds a lot. It's just it's I'm I'm, run, I'm pushing I'm pushing the envelope a little bit with the old 7810 here. And as she gets full, it definitely is not getting easier. Uh, let's lift that up. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, look at that guy's field. I should just buy that, because uh, that's going to happen a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Always driving that guy's field. All right, come on. Just grab a couple gears. Let's see if we can make it back now. Like I said, guys, it is definitely a bit of a struggle with with this. There's just so much weight. I mean, what are we sitting at? 42 tons? Ouch. Yeah, that's a bit. Yeah, as long as there's no hills, we're fine. Let's go just, just put this back into the silo here. Uh, how much speed do I need to climb this? Come on. Get up on top. Easy. Oh, yeah, no problem. And I guess I'll never be too, too far with this. Like I said, this is going to be my hay field for the most part right now. We may, like I said, I've been thinking about that, uh, that far field. I could probably buy that and maybe just make this a bigger hay field. That would be a way of doing it. Yeah, we'll see. 
Let's uh, unload all this into our fermenting silo and uh, we'll keep on going. We'll finish off the rest of this. We'll get another half of a trailer full on this. And then we'll talk about cows. We'll talk about cows. All right, so we're going to try something here. Just, I don't need to do this right now, but going forward, I just want, I'm trying to make life a little bit simpler for myself. So the idea is going to be simple. Well, kind of simple. I'm going to back this up to the, uh, the fermenting silo right here. We're going to load it full of silage. And we're going to take this silage and dump it over into our feed silo, which is part of the barn itself. Oh, come on, Betsy. She's, she's got some weight to her hair. I'm not fat. I'm big boned. Let's go. Grab a couple more gears. Let's go. All right. Nice and easy. Back it on in. Perfect. All right. So we'll dump all this into our fermenting silo. Or not fermenting. Our feed silo. Like I said, this is just for storage. That's all this is going to do. Back in our brand spanking new feed trailer. They, I, sh I wish this uh, this barn had a little bit more space in it, guys. She's a bit toit back here now. Hmm. See, I was... Hang on a sec. I was thinking that I could use this and, like, fit... Hmm. How am I going to get bales into this? That's a long throw. I'm never going to throw that in there. And then I got to drop... That's going to be the silage right here. Not exactly ideal, to be perfectly honest here. Uh, I don't think I can jack... There's just not enough space to jackknife that right in here, is there? Huh. I have to think about this for a bit. Well, for now, we'll just go up and grab a few bales and toss them down there. I mean, I can... I can move this around. I, I suppose I don't really need to even... I don't know yet, guys. I, I This is kind of wrecking my plans. I'm not going to lie. I had, I had plans to just, well, do it this way. And it's not... I don't think it's going to work with this particular feed this feed silo, or the uh, Silo King. I think this is... Ooh, actually, you know what? I don't... I mean, yes, at least if I can toss this in. The last one was pretty close. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. Boom! Hey, that wasn't bad. Kobe! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, maybe it'll work. Maybe it will work. Maybe I can make this work. So, not necessarily the best plan, but hey, you know what? It, it does... It does work. It seems to be at least we're on... Oh, we need to put that to the right side. There we go. There we go. Let's feed some cows. But, guys, you got any better ideas for our food here? What do you think? What else can we possibly do here in order to um, feed these cows? I, I don't know. I kind of... I like... I want to use that silo, that silo back there. That food silo. But it's just... It doesn't seem like it's an option for me, to be honest with you. I think I'm kind of SOL there. Hmm. Not sure why. You'd think I'd make it into silage, but she don't. I yeah, just filled it up once again, and uh, not exactly the easiest. That's just not perfect. It, the, the, that that bay should be like facing the other direction, or I don't know. I, I, this is what happens when you buy a used barn, I guess, right? Like you're you're stuck with what you got. All right, we'll leave that there. And uh, guys, that's that's it. Now, like I said, we're, we've got problems to solve. This one is not solved, unfortunately. It, it, we're going to have to deal with this going forward. Those, unfortunately, bulls are a bit of a problem. But, you know what? Progress still, nonetheless. Uh, we're moving over. Like I said, we gotta, we're taking care of something else. It should be ready in the next couple weeks. I'll catch up with you guys when our logistical center is done. We'll go check it out together, all right? I'm heading back to the farm. We'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. Another, another few weeks has passed. It's time. I, I just got the call this yesterday. It's done. I'm going to keep an eye on it, of course. They're building a production facility for us, or a distribution facility. Let's go take a look at this building. I can't wait to show it to you. Uh, let's go. Let's jump in the Ford. It's already running. Someone really needs to clean my wind. Oh, wait. That's my job. Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Let's just keep this truck running, shall we? Uh, hammer down. Let's go. Oh, boy. There she goes. 50, 60. Oh, yeah. There we go. No problem. This truck This truck has got some cojones. Uh, it needs some new wheels, though. Hey, look at We're already there. I, did, I, I put the hammer down and... We already showed up. Guys, there is the new K Sims distribution center. Like I said, this is where we're going to take everything and, um, well, store it in. You know what? Let's go around around back. Let's go around back and uh, we'll go take a look inside. There we go. We got a loading dock back here and everything for uh, larger trucks than what we're currently using. Uh, let's see if I can open this, this gateway up. Gateway? Gateway. Sure. Why not? Oh, there it goes. Like, just a huge amount of space to store all of our goods, guys. I'm really kind of happy about this so let's go grab a trailer we've got a bunch of popcorn already need to be stored so we'll close this down and uh yeah trailer's just like a block away almost like a block and a half and then we'll start storing stuff here uh, once again trailer is fully loaded um i gotta quit doing this to this truck this is gonna be something hopefully we can you know we're making decent money hopefully you know in, in a year or two we could kind of just go and upgrade 
oh, this whole setup, and I don't need to deal with this anymore. But for now, this is going to be our transportation method, and I'm the guy doing it. So we should be able to just pull right on in in the far bays. I mean, we made sure those are ground level at least. These ones here we'll use for back and some bigger trucks, and hopefully, you know what, I'm pretty optimistic here, I know. But it could happen, you guys. It could happen. Let me get inside here. All right, let's pull it on in. Let's see if we can get these loaded off and uh, see how well they... How well it goes when it's stored up in here. I'm excited. This is good. Oh, well, guys, we're officially in business. The logistics center is up and running. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but it, it we got buttered popcorn stacked up here. I guess we'll put some cheese in the far end. We'll probably have two racks full of popcorn, I guess. Whatever. It is what it is. It's, it's convenient. It's heated. And it'll store all our goods. That's really all that matters. So, guys, harvest is just around the corner. We'll be back again harvesting our corn and getting this up and operational. Thanks for joining me today on Iowa Plains. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here. And once again, thank you to our channel members, our new and returning channel members. Thanks to you guys. Appreciate you guys. You guys are the, the heroes of, of Iowa Plains. Let's go with that. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you guys uh, drop a like, and we'll see you guys next time. This is Clutch from Iowa Plains. We got a distribution center. We're over and out. See you guys next time.